What's the topic today, uh, Trey? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. That motherfucker is quiet as hell. He ain't answering, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was, um, I was, um, uh, I was vibing on some shit. I ain't gonna lie. I was doing a couple things, but the topic for the day is. Topic for the day is listen. You listen to cause, cause not it's it's deep. It's deep. It's hell. It's deep. I ain't even sipping. I ain't even sipping yet like that. I ain't yeah, sipping yet like that. So we not over. I zoned out real quick. I told him give me in my bag. He got me in my bag. It's kind of deep today. I want to know what your idea of love is. What you said? What? Explain yourself. I want to know what your idea of love is. My First, de- our no, no, no. dear love. No, 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 no. Let's say shit about what no your love. idea of love is. Let's, oh, let, let me scale back, though, though. Let me scale back. Let me <laughs> ask y'all this before I ask y'all that. Have y'all ever been in love before? Do you feel like you've ever been in love before? We're going to okay. start with Rosie. We're going to go to Trill next. We're going to go to Big Lurch, Esroy, Dennis, Jazzy, Sal and me, or me and Sal, whichever one. Okay, my idea of love. No, answer me this first. Have you ever been in love before? Yes. Okay, now tell me what your idea of love is. My idea of love at this point is a partnership, someone you can depend on to be there to care about your well being at the end of every day, regardless to what we got going on. Your partner, that's love. Cool. Before we give any rebuttals, I just want to hear everybody answer. Hey, 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 Trail, let me see. Have you ever been in love before? Yeah, I've been in love. It might have been a few years ago, but shit, yeah. What happened? What's, what's your on. idea of love? Now, well, gonna, you you, you said hey, what happened, I wanna get, Hold on, because when Penny be talking, I'll be kind of interested in Penny life. Cause Penny, I do too, though. He's just the weirdest motherfucker you I fuck with. Bro. <laughs> so I just be wanting to know. Is that a tattoo on your leg, bro? What is that? Yeah, it's a tattoo on my leg. What is that, a Scorpio? Hold on, Damn, that nigga Lil. Hey, he done disappeared, bro. Everybody about to do <laughs> shit to you, bro. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> what happened? Ass back in here. I didn't even leave, bro. My Discord done fucking crashed. But nah, this Wait, is a rose. Him on that too, huh? Go ahead, nah, bro. bro. Okay, so, nah, this so is a happened? rose. That's a rose on your leg? Like it's a, a rose, rose bud? It, it's a rose. What it's color is it? Very dark. It's. It's pretty much black. So you got a black rose. Why you? Why you figured like to give me? A, let me get a black rose on my leg, on my thigh. Well, the my right leg is pretty much like my fuck around leg. It's uh, I have a lot of friends who like want to be artists and shit. Mm-hmm. So I have no issue with like, oh, if they want to practice work, I mean, that's what my right leg is for. So basically, y'all all get high off meth. Tattoo me on each other. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Might be, might get a drunk and you know do some tattoos on each other, but I don't no, know about that. All off acid. Just I don't want to scale off. I don't want to scale off for shit to get crazy. Nah. Bro. So uh, now nah, what happened with my last relationship? I mean, I was pretty serious with her. Pretty much gave her exactly what she wanted. I tried to be the man she wanted, mm-hmm. and she you know moved to another state. Um, after she finished school. And we were trying to do long distance. And, I mean, I went out there a few times to go see her, but she never came back out here to see me. Oh, 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 pause right there. This one I don't want to get into it, Seth, because we're going to tap into that shit. Uh, but, but I'll be wanting to know. We bro. going to know. It's like, listen, I don't want to. But at the, end, like of the, at the end of the day, bro. I'm I to forget know. what I'm going to no. ask. At no. the end of the day, okay. bro. Okay, she a cheating motherfucker. She ain't loyal. So she, she cheated on you with who? What was his name? I don't know his name. I don't know his name. Tyrone? Was it Tyrone? Was it Tyrone? What, mean, was it what type of shot was that, bro? What? Talking about Tyrone. Why you say Tyrone out of all names, bro? I think you better call on Tyrone. I, mean, uh, I, I don't know who it was, but you know, she told me she was trying to cut it off. I know Renee you know. cheated on me with Tyrone. Oh. <laughs> really? Man, what? You don't she just got deep. She just took you a turn. Yeah. She just got deep as fuck. So she moved to what? What she moved to, bro? Uh, she moved to Oklahoma, just a state above me. Okay. So she moved to Oklahoma, and then she got with somebody else. Well, yeah, uh, it was like we was uh doing long distance for like six months, 
I went out there like three, four times, and like the biggest thing was we set up a thing. Like when she moved, but she I'll gonna go out be there need somebody that's gonna be there all the time. She wanna cuddle at night. She wanna do. Yeah, all the you know she I mean? went and got a dog because originally my dog was got for her. Like I got the dog for her, and she ain't want it. Well, no, because eventually in the relationship, she just she stopped taking care of him, and then she got so upset. She was like, "All right, it's either me or the dog." What? I said, I, yeah, she tried okay. saying, "Okay, it's either me or the dog." I was like, "I'm not getting rid of this dog." I've already spent a year oh, and a half with him. Dude, this motherfucker already chewed up five thousand dollars. She gave you an ultimatum about a dog, though. He was just looking yeah, for something at that point. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be strong, will, strong minded to do that long distance shit. Long yeah, distance. I mean, I had no problem with it. It's all about communication in the end. Yeah, but like, man. she just started. Like, this, bro, and I'm gonna be one hundred, bro. Hey, ladies, if you get a guy and he talking about some, uh, we about to do this, we gonna do this long distance relationship. We in it. We in it for the long haul. I love you. This is what we yeah. on. He's lying to you. You hear me? He just yeah. holding off until whenever he can meet you, he can fuck you. You hear me? Can I say that? Yeah. I can say he can fuck you until he fuck you. Yeah, you know, can, that's can, basically can, what that is. That ain't no, ain't nobody doing no long distance relationship, man. Not for real. So basically, they ain't gonna take away that the nigga like you, but the nigga exactly. Yeah, what he saying, probably that's do what like is. you, and he might treat right, you like, like a queen you. when y'all meet up. But, but he exactly not loyal. What... That's what it is, and I don't. And the female might not be yeah, loyal. Female everybody, everybody needs that. Creatures? Everybody needs that physical touch, attention, whatever. Even if you, even if you're not sexually active, you might need somebody who just there on a regular basis for emotional support. Yeah. And you can't get that over the phone or a text message. Yeah, I'm exactly. not, yeah. It'd be but, cool to a certain extent, but then it's like, nah. So, so she but moved. Got, she moved on you. Yeah, she moved. Originally, I was going to go move out there, like, after, you know, I had my shit figured out down here. I had to get a car first and everything, so I started working two jobs. I was like, okay, I'm going to get this car quick as fuck. I'm going to get everything paid off, and then when everything's good, you know, I'm going to move out there. Well, good thing I ain't do that shit, because she can't keep her loyalty. She can't keep her motherfucking legs closed. But it is what it is. My you idea... If we... that she cheated on you with, you know, it, it wasn't sale, was it? It wasn't you, bro. <laughs> Just make it show, man. How many nah. years ago was that, Penny? Uh, my, you said what? How many years ago was that? That was like four years ago, bro. Oh, all right. So you over that shit there. Bet. Yeah, so, I'm over I, it now. Yeah, I can say what I want to say then. Yeah, I don't care. That shit like, that shit like if you about to do a bid, my nigga, you cannot expect her to hold that shit down if you 167 yeah. fucking hours. Yeah. Can't I mean, it, it, is, it is what like it is. It's cool. it, 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 like, it's what one, it's one thing if y'all was together and she went away to school or some shit or, or you went to the military or some shit and it's like, cool hold shit. it down. Like, you want some... But when y'all just apart, it's like, man, I got to trust him to do what he do over here. And most of the time when women cheat, it's them assuming what we doing, too. Yeah, and that was the issue. She was always assuming that I was cheating. Like, she would get yeah, mad if I got... She would get mad if I drank with my family, bro, and she wasn't around. I'm like, bro, I'm of age, first off. So if my family was like, yo, you want to come drink? Because she was 20. She was a year. I'm just to justify their behavior. You feel me? Make make themselves think like this is true. I don't know why females. Jazzy, Rose, I'm talking about y'all too, bro. I don't know why females be making shit up in their head and believing it. Yeah. Like, come up with an idea and be like, yeah, this is the fucking That's factual thing. I be right, so I can't relate. I don't know. Right. Every every girl, girl, like, even when you wrong, you think you right. I be right, so I can't relate. I don't know. Bro. But if we go on off of what my idea of love <laughs> is, man, my idea of love is yeah, someone who is loyal to me, who, you know, understands proper communication, whether it's on the good or yeah. bad end. Even if we arguing, we got to do me a favor, though, Penny, bro. I need you to do me a favor. Could you get your thigh out the camera? I really don't. <laughs> I really don't want to see that. Like you just got though, your whole baby. thigh. Man, I was just comfortable. I, I was, I was comfortable, bro. The rose that grew from the concrete. All on I'm your double jointed, motherfucker. <laughs> on Twitch. That's what that is, right? I'm, I'm double jointed, motherfucker. Concrete. Okay, but either that. way. What's that? That's the rose that grew from concrete. Bro, don't ever in your life say that shit again. Yeah, you freaky. What do you mean, bro? <laughs> Do I shit about you devil joint? Don't ever you. <laughs> you have never met a devil joint, motherfucker. Bro, I swear to Moses, bro. You better chill. Not Moses. What you mean? <laughs>
What you mean? Well, so like what? certain bones can go both hey, ways. I like my what that is, but what you take? What you listen? Like, hey, big look. Like, a, jo- no, like no. a girl will twist you up and put your legs behind your hey, head. Girl. No, no right? not even that, bro. Like I'm double jointed in my arms. That's mm-hmm. what we about to change your day to a little pretzel. Little pretzel. Hey, little pretzel. Little pretzel little got it. Now little pretzel got it. Nigga said crisscross applesauce at this. I ain't even said it crisscross applesauce. When I look at you, Penny. I be thinking of a pickup truck. I ain't gonna lie. It look like you got a little Ranger or something. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga look like he be like, well, that's too damn bad. Like, where Grim. you from? Whoever got the biggest pickup truck is the man. Hey, I bet. Let's keep it going. Hey, Big Lurch, Lurch. have you ever been in love before? Nephew. Yeah, multiple times. What's your idea of love? What you feel like your idea of love is? Yeah, the perfect combination of communication. Say hi. Say hi. Affection. And let's see what just lawyers. Say hi. You just going to listen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Who next? If you don't have neither one of those three, that relationship not going to work. When last time you was in love, Lurch? 2014 when I met my baby mom. You don't even love her no more, huh? Nah, I love still though. But you're not in love. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> that pause. That pause is it all. I hope you're watching right now. Lurch, baby mama. When I just asked him, was he still in love? You seen that long pregnant right, pause. That time. You know what that means. He wants to think. He wanted to take a drink. Right. Take a shot for me, bro. Because I know that shit probably oh, hurt. Did. Yeah, I know it hurt. I can see it. It's in your face. It's written oh, all over your face. Oh, this nigga here playing with the dog. Hey, 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 Vinny, bro. You about to... You don't even worry about it, bro. I got something for that. Yep. Shit. Yeah. Get up out of here. You and Lassie got to go. Damn, why ain't they let me get My Lassie. You trying to kick me? Yeah, I was. I ain't gonna lie. Why? Because you got Lassie ass all in the camera, and you over there. I had what? I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm interested in hearing this Maxo. person answer right here. Oh. Because this this motherfucker is so so goddamn gutter all the time. He show no emotion all the time. Oh. I want to know what Esroy feelings is about. That's I want to you. know, know if Esroy ever was in love before. First question. Hold on. Hold on, before you answer this, Esri, one second, bro. I want to introduce y'all to Esri. He don't say much, bro, but this my, I, I didn't even say what he is. Just know yeah. Esri is a very dangerous man. And very, very loyal. Very, very yes, loyal he's too. very loyal, but he's dangerous, and he has, he's very like, dangerous. schizophrenic <laughs> paranoia issues, you hear me? He yeah. wants to slap four niggas. He, get mad. he wants to slap four niggas at the subway for stepping on his shoes, bro. That's like this how dangerous he is. Go ahead and say what you going to say, bro. Hey, have you, have you ever, ever been, been in love been before? before Roy? Man, yeah, bro, I got two kids, bro. Oh, 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 oh. we ain't gonna act like that matter, right? Come Tax. on, bro, you got two. What that mean? Was you yeah, in love, or was matters. just you made a mistake? No, I was in love with Shorty. That was my high school sweetheart, right there. Oh, so you got a love story. So how long was no, you and I- your? No, hold on. How long was you and your? Know. Yeah, how long was you and your high school? Step. Still getting nosy as hell, we bro. We know you step. We ain't know this. Yeah, I ain't know the <clears throat> was on that type of time. So listen, how long yeah. was you and your high school sweetheart together, bro? Since freshman year. Freshman. So you had to be like fourteen. Something like that. Damn, bro. So when, well, how old? How, I mean, how long was y'all was in a relationship? Like how many years? See it. Damn. It's a long time. You even got to count real quick. Because you like 33 now. So they've been about <laughs> 19 years. <laughs> it's somewhere up there, bro. Somewhere up there. He don't even want to talk about it. So you sure? Like, do y'all yeah. still got good communication skills? Yeah. Like, do y'all still fuck? Yeah. Even mm. when she got a dude? No. Nope. Even when she got a dude, though, huh? I'm still busting that shit. Ah! Yeah! I'm playing with I'm talking shit. 
I'm stop so, playing so, with you. So Ezra. why y'all not together no more, Ezra? Yeah, that's personal, bro. Oh, that's too deep for us. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, Ezra. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna that's lie. That's too deep for us, bro. You don't want to talk deep. about it? I can tell, because Ezra, you know he a man of little words. It's the most I heard him say in 17 days. Well, I ain't gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. So look. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to give you the opportunity. She came home, cool. right? <laughs> That's where it was locked in the bathroom. <laughs> With the Thanksgiving turkey. So they didn't know what was going on. <laughs> this nigga. This nigga right here. That's the Thanksgiving turkey, bro. Not the turkey. <laughs> Fuck up the whole holiday. <laughs> Oh, you said, don't worry, I got my own stuff. Dennis, you in a relationship right now, Dennis? Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't been in a relationship since high school. And I left high school five years ago. So you just uh, been out here and dangling. Have you ever been in love before? I feel like, I feel like I, I haven't. Looking back at it now, I feel like that was all lust. You feel me? No. At, okay, at that time, you felt like it was love, right? At that time, yeah, I felt like it was love, you know, because okay, cool. so like, it was the listen. first time if feeling that. You felt that. like it was love at that time. That's what I'm asking. You. you ever been? You ever felt like you was in love before? Uh, no, I don't know, bro. Because looking back at it now, it's Have you like, ever cried over? Was bro? it really love? Have you ever cried over? Like, has she ever made you cry? Oh, you took a shot. Oh, you took a shot. He was like, yes, I cried. I cried. <laughs> I cried. I cried Sick, you just took a shot of that ball song like that. Yeah, you wildin' with the Pauly. <laughs> over there drinking. Yeah. Tree bark juice. <laughs> He's wildin' with the Pauly. What's up, bro? Talk to Who's me. next? Who's Have next? Ever... No. No, no. Who's next? Hell Ask you no. a question. Hell's Have next. she ever made you cry? Nah. <laughs> boss boy, what's up, bro? Who's next? He's talking about who's next. Why is everybody? Nah, nah I ain't gonna that, 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 we, that, we, we didn't all say no, this. No, he done no, cried no, over her before. He don't want to admit it. What y'all did love then? What y'all did love right now then? Shit, my idea of love right now is like, uh, let me see. Uh, love and affection. It's going to be like, I'm going to have to say somebody that's going mean, to build with you. Affection. You feel me? Somebody that's going to be there with you through thick and thin type shit. Why oh, my shit lagging? Man, did you cry over or not? Nobody want to hear all that other shit philosophical shit, Shakespeare shit. Did she yeah, make you cry? Did she make it? Just say yes or no, I mean, bro. And we can move on. Damn, that nigga bro, shit. Ain't hey, that much lagging in the world. We ain't even on hey, 5M. Hey, Jazzy. Hey, Jazzy, you ever been in love? I said we ain't crashed early. Hey, somebody. Yeah, I should like me out. Where Lil Busy at, too? I need Lil Busy in this shit, too. Everybody crashed. Don't say y'all didn't. I don't know what you talking about. I ain't never Shit. Cried. It might have been one time I shed a tear, you know, but I'm about to say I bored my eyes out for shorty either. Yeah. Hey, look, I, I you think the boss is shit. Right right that make you shed a tear. That's love, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, listen, this is what we're we gonna get into gonna that. Cry. You don't care. You ain't gonna love her. Fuck it. It is what it hey, is. Hey, Jazzy. You ever yes, been sir. in love before? Yeah. She in love right now. What you feel like love? What? <laughs> what you feel like love? Is? That's a, that's a tough. That's tough for me. What you eating, on, Rosie? And I'm gonna tell you why. She fucked it up. No, Rosie. I'm gonna tell you why it's tough for me because uh -huh. I dealt with somebody that didn't make me feel secure. At all in a relationship, but I loved him so much. You feel like he loved so, you? So I don't know. At that time, I did, but when I be thinking back on it, I be like, probably not. <laughs> probably not. I don't know. You can't say because of uh, something that a man do or. Certain type of behavior, you can't say that he don't care about you. Like, if you was to really think about, like, over the entire relationship, like, you know, y'all had y'all moments where y'all was good, y'all had y'all moments when y'all was bad. But overall, you don't know if he loves you or not. 
Honestly, no. That's deep. Dang. That's deep. No. That's deep. Be- because I feel like that's a deep subject for me. I don't yeah. like going. Talk about I don't, it, I don't, Talk about I don't it like. I don't it's like going. Hey, take, take, take a sip of that, da- that daiquiri real quick. No. Go ahead. Take a sip of that fuck you got right there. Everybody take a sip, take a shot. You eat a nugget. It's on the floor. Hey, it's fucking nugget. Let's go. Good water. That's right. What can I do about this? Come on, my shit gone. The Yeah, only thing I got is the do say. What you about to say, Jazz? I don't know if I want to tap into that. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We don't want to, you know what I mean? Because I, I say that because that, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's hard. I just don't think. Yeah, it's a hard subject for me. It's hard. I get it. We don't want to force it. It's hard. Yeah. What about you, Trey? Me? Have I ever been in love before? Yeah. Yeah. I believe that. You a Gemini. Yeah, mm. you, know, you know a nigga. A nigga How many times nigga, have you been in love? Is a real question. Uh, eleven. <laughs> nah, at one at one point I probably did think it was eleven times and shit. But you know, you when you when you realize shit, when you start to tap in and really know what the fuck going on, I'm only gonna say two. Okay. I'm only gonna say. So what two. you think love is? It get deep. I want to. I want to answer that last. It get deep. You want to answer that last? Yeah, it okay. get deep. Cause, cause I don't think I got the. I don't think I got the. Uh, like the. Politically correct viewpoint on what I feel like love is. Like, right. Okay. You know what I'm saying I got a whole nother. Like I be tapping into a whole nother different time when I think about that. You know what I'm saying. So. Now we gonna go to you. Have you ever been in love before? Don't say so. So listen. <laughs> When I was young, bro, when I got to the point where I was, I'm like, yeah, I like girls. It's on the flow. I fell in love with every last one of them. You hear me? You, it's no bullshit. I ain't like, gonna you, lie. I fell in love with every last like, I'm, thi- I'm thinking it, but I was a lover boy. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? You I was a lover, lover boy. boy like, like on some other shit until a certain age, though. Like when I was young, young, I was a lover boy. You know what I mean? Or any, any <laughs> time, my girl, it's a rap. I'm loving you for life, you hear me? You don't, mm-hmm. you don't need nothing, you hear me? If you ain't got nothing to eat, we ain't got nothing to eat. I'm about to go in this store and steal it for you, baby. That's how much I love you, you hear me? Take this bag of chips. I just mm-hmm. ran out the gas station with. You gonna let it put pressure <laughs> oh, on your you pockets. You about to do yeah. time for that I shit. Can... I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I've been juvenile. Like, this nigga right me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, worry but not. Bitch, you get a back blown out and shit. You and you yeah. and that, you know. But as you get older, bro, you start really thinking about it. Like you gotta understand what love is first before you can even say that you've been in love. That, you hear me? But that's why. That's why. That's why we go into our next question. From y'all experience on what y'all thought love was, from what y'all been through when y'all thought y'all was in love. What's your viewpoint on love today? Because I know everybody's going to grab it and say loyalty. I know everybody's going to grab it and say communication. I know everybody's going to tap in and be like, oh, nah, it's somebody who's going to be there. For- nah, but what do y'all feel like love is for real? Like, really tap in and let me know what you feel like love is. If you want me to, like, I don't know, because I don't know if love is a is a, is a feeling. I don't know if love is a feeling. Wait, bro. Look at Savion. He always fucking is. <laughs> fat fuck. It's fat fucking fuck. I can't bitches. even be serious. What is you? Is you high as fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what you eating now, gang? He can't hey, even fully open his eyes, bro. He's like... Yeah, fuck like, 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 like oh, yeah. He's Japanese, face, bro. Hey, now, what is that's them thin Oreos? That's, that's, what that's the fuck crazy, is that? Bro. What are them fudge joints? Uh, those, 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 those are good Stop as fucking hell, playing. He bro. got the munchies. He can't even open yeah. his ass. What's them little dolls? Them little bitty little dolls that they had with them afros back in the day, y'all? They was colorful, bro. It looked like, <laughs> that like a troll, bitch. <laughs> what, was they, what was they called, though? Troll dolls? Trolls. Trolls. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he looked hold like. On, hold on, Sam, Sam, hold on, hold on, bro. Because I'm looking at these comments and somebody said love is an action. Oh, come on, man. It's, it's definitely a verb. It's an action word. It's something that you show. 
I feel like I feel like it's something that you show and it's something that you feel. You definitely feel it, but it's definitely it gotta ultimately be an action in order for you to feel it. Mm hmm I love it. You see what food. I'm saying? If you don't yeah, we can tell you love food, it, bro. If a motherfucker don't show it, you ain't gonna never food. feel it. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, your ass love food, bro. You go over there eating everything out of that damn pantry. What you in there eating in the bathroom? What hey, you say, I ain't food, though. They don't call me big loaf for nothing. Go ahead, Trey. Hey, boss. Damn. Thank you. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, right, Let's get in our bag real quick. Let's get in our bag real quick. Let's get in our bag real quick. What the fuck? Why am I just my shit not working? Relax. The fucking cookie's going to come back. That's what I was saying. Discord messing up. What the fuck wrong with Discord, bro? I don't know. There it go. Go ahead, Trey. What was you saying? Nah, I'm just thinking like, cause we focus on actions a lot. Like, we really, we really focus on actions a lot, and the whole time it'd be like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm mad that I, I stem, I like, I fell back from what I was saying because I, I'm trying to think why I just left, left off at. Cause this shit not an easy topic on the left. No, it's not. Like, this shit not an easy topic. But I don't feel like, I don't feel like, let me just get back to what I was saying. Like, I don't feel like love is something that just deal with. Like, I don't know if it's a, if it's a, if it's a feeling, if it's an action, if it's a, like, I don't know what that shit is. Because what my it's viewpoint on love, I think that shit is, I think that shit, I think love is a character builder, if you want me to be honest. It's everything. It's all I of think the it just, I think it's simply just a character builder to me. Like, I feel like. Because everything that I thought love was back in the day, after I got through that situation and done with the shit, and I'd be like, damn, like that shit wasn't love. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit done turned me up for the next situation. Now I got elevated for the shit. Now I'm in the next situation. It's like, okay, boom, we go through this shit. We everything I think I'm getting it right, then it'd be like, boom. Life hits you. I'd be like, oh shit. Damn, was I loving that shit? Right. Even though I did mm. what I was supposed to do for the last shit, was I loving it? Now, like, <laughs> I think love is a build up. Like, well, I don't well, know if that. Let me ask you this, though. Do you feel like with each relationship that goes past and you enter another one, do you get better at it? Depends. It depends. You love depends. everybody differently. Yeah. Each it person depends. is different. You love them all differently. You don't love people for the same reasons. Oh. But as yeah, far as it, physical, yeah. like on the action, like, don't you think you go into another relationship learning from the past, like, what not to do? Yeah. In yes and no, yeah. but people will ultimately always do what they want to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's deep. But you can also fuck up your relationship if you trying to love this certain person how you love the previous person. Mm -hmm. Everyone don't require the same type of love. Some people need to be smothered on a daily basis. Some people just need to be told, I love you. I see you later, my nigga. Like, you got to love everybody differently. What kind everybody of love do you want? Love what kind of love do you want, Rosie? Um, I think expected? it, again, depends on the guy. I've had situations where I wanted to be up under him, didn't want to be away from him. And, like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Like, I need to be around this nigga all day. And then I've had situations where I know that this is my partner. I'm calling him. That's my best friend. But I don't need to see you today, my nigga. I see you in two days or something. Like, see, but I'm gonna call like, you, make sure you are right. I'm gonna call you, make sure I, you ate. I'm gonna make I sure shit like, good. Like, I, I mean, feel like that depends on who the nigga is. I yeah, like, everybody. I feel like I feel like every female give you what you lack to give her. Mm -hmm. So the nigga that you was pressing about, oh, I need your time and affection. Is the nigga who not giving you time and affection? The nigga who give you all the time and affection, he probably the nigga that's not giving you the bag. So you like, oh, like, I think every female give you what they like. Like, if a joint touch your shoulder, she wants you to touch her shoulder. Like, if she laughing, ah, no ah, like, like, it's, it's a certain, I think, I think every female give you what you, what they, they express to you, what they, what you're lacking to them. Like, yeah. And all I feel you like that's what it is. And that, that just come from me paying attention. And I ain't going to act like that shit easy. I ain't going to act like that shit easy because we get so caught up in moving how we want to move and how we feel like we should move. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody want to get played nowadays. And that's what the crazy shit is. Nobody want to yeah. be vulnerable. Nobody want to be pussy. Like, nobody want to be like, whole time, like, when you're with your lady, you can't be a gorilla with a flower. And I always say that shit. Like, you can't hmm. be a gorilla with a flower. You can't move. You can't move like, okay, this is a nigga on the street. Because you're shorty going to test you more than anybody. 
Like shit. you could knock every nigga out outside. She could witness that shit. You get in the house, she gonna be like, "Nigga, you puss," and you gonna be like, "Oh, you just see me beat up everybody, I'm pussy." The whole time she know, she know you ain't pussy, but she know that's gonna, that's gonna tap, that's gonna press them buttons. Right, right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? She gonna test you the most. She gonna test you the most. Okay. okay. She gonna test you the most. It's up to you to be vulnerable enough to like express yourself, to feel a certain type of way, like like to. To really like lock it, see, when it come to like everybody focused on actions instead of focusing on like what actions are being done, like, cause I could say like, oh, I'm gonna do this, do that, and really do it, like, but whole time is like, is it coming from a genuine place? Mm-hmm. Mm. Is that shit coming from a genuine place? Cause I could just have it and I'm doing it mm-hmm. cause I got it. Yeah. But when I'm down on my dick, like, what we like, like I'm saying, like, what we doing? What we doing? Like, when all I got is your time and affection, like, am I falling back from you? Or am I like, am I trying to figure out like what we doing and how we doing? Let me show you this much love. Let me express to you that I can't do this right now. And I hope you understand. If you don't understand, I understand why you don't understand. And I'm never going to feel away from you because you don't understand this because you're a human. But this is me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is the actions really that, or is the like? Cause everybody, cause I know a nigga who's gonna blow a bag on you. But that nigga, that nigga banned up. That nigga gonna blow that bag on you, but he banned up. The nigga before you ain't have it, but that nigga was willing to blow that shit on you. But if he yeah, if he yeah. had it, that nigga was giving you his last twenty. That nigga had twenty two. He gave his last twenty. He only want a mouth in the water. He gave his last twenty and shit. But you like this nigga, bro? He ain't doing shit for me. He ain't doing nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga who banned up blowing that bitch on you. And you like, I bet, like, he the one for me. Hey, my bad, Trey. This nigga Savion been talking on mute the whole fucking time. No, fuck that. Savion, I want to hear what you got to say, Savion. Savion, I need to talk on mute because look at this nigga. He look like Sonic the fucking head right now. This nigga been talking the whole time on mute. Hey. That nigga say he just a good ass conversation too. That nigga say he just want to out in the water. I'm thinking about trash. Al Capone. <laughs> you know all I need is Al Capone. All I need is Al Capone and a good burger. I ain't gonna lie. I'm simple. <sighs> man, but I, I don't know. Al Capone. I don't know, man. It's like a hard subject, but I really still think it's more of a, a, a verb than anything. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like the love language. It's the actions bro? that make you gotta understand. It's the actions that make you actually feel something, bro. That's yeah, true. I was, you see what I'm I saying? was That's really true. going. Yeah. It, it's always different when you deal with a woman that been hurt before, and you tell her you love her, and she's been so used to just hearing "I love you," true. and then it could be her her whole life, right? Mm-hmm. Like you gotta like show you having to show so much and it be sometimes it's overexerting sometimes you overexerting yourself showing her but like even with the little joint i deal with like nigga like she was in the fucked up situation for so long to the point where i ain't gonna lie i have fell fast nigga i'm finna, and i'm finna go to jail i'm gonna mm-hmm. go to prison fuck jail i'm finna go to prison for the first i'm saying to myself fuck i love this bitch but i can't tell her i love her like it's bad yeah. but like i'm trying to like really put on really trying to in a certain sense of really like trying to show her different but she's so used to the fuck up like right. really on her toes for to fuck up like when is this nigga gonna find like show me that shit like the last she kept telling me I wasn't shit showing me I wasn't shit so I, I kind of agree with you to a certain extent bro. in action cause you gotta put so much action into showing someone's love okay. you know what I'm saying yeah for a woman that got hurt so much yeah, and then I don't know. Every we just that's part about humans is everything so different. You know what I'm saying? Like you got people that you tell them love them because we deal with a motherfucker. We got a motherfucker in private chat. If you say I love you, they just like, oh, you love me? Like, mm. but you feel me? But then you got certain people that words don't mean. Shit. I'm kind of one of them niggas. Your words do me. You got a show. Yeah, your words. Yeah. To me, I'd have been told everything. I'd have been told by a motherfucker that they would never cross me when it was time, when it was grind time, hold on me, and I went to prison for it. 
So, the reason. All right, boom. Let me say this, though. At the taco truck. <laughs> nigga, 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 niggas, 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 Niggas focus on actions, yeah. Instead of focusing on feelings, and that's what I think fucks us up. Yeah, 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 Understand me? That's what that's what I was trying to get to. Like we talk about our act, like we talk about like what the actions make us feel. Like instead of talking about the feelings that we really feel it. Like. But the, it's still because it's like a, a lot of because actions be momentarily sometimes. But you gotta understand, it's still like a chain of command. It's still like an order of shit. Like with the uh, yeah. with the five percent is nation of gods of earth is uh what the I fuck mean. is it? Knowledge, ahead, understanding, knowledge, uh-huh. knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Uh-huh. It's knowledge, wisdom, understanding. First, you learn. That's the knowledge. Mm-hmm. When you learn, you gain the wisdom. Once you got that mm-hmm. wisdom, you starting to understand more. Mm-hmm. So when I say action, I'm saying like it's a, it's a line. It's like a number. It's like a ranking that you go through to get to the word love, though. For See, real. But bro. my thing is like even for the feelings, like even like I said, even for the feelings, like if a motherfucker ain't what, showing but, you this or doing but, this. But this is why I say I'm a little different though, because I feel like until I understand, I don't learn. So when it's like you learn, you gain wisdom, then understand. To me, it's kind of backwards. Like I understand. I learned, then I gain wisdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, to me, it's a little, it's a little different. Well, you don't have no understanding if you don't know. But that's mm-hmm. what I'm, no, that's, no, this is what I'm saying. I gotta, if I don't know this shit, like, I can't understand this shit. I can't learn that shit. Though. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah. Like, wisdom is the ultimate, like, it's over all that shit. Like, I gotta, no, like. No, because it's not. Because I'm going to tell you why, Trey. And I'm ahead, my brother, hear. bro. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to give you some game yeah, right now. Now, listen talk, to me, bro. You know you're a little older than me talking Now, listen to me when I tell you this, bro. <laughs> What the fuck was we just talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he pulling a me, yeah. No, no, learning, un- <laughs> learning, wisdom, understanding. Oh, you said wisdom is the all, but it's not because you can have a, all the fucking wisdom in the world, and if you oh. don't apply it, bro, you don't understand for real, bro. But that, no, 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 no. You you don't, bro. Because you might what's not. The, what's the point of the wisdom if you don't use it? But you can't say that though because a lot of niggas who got the game won't give it to not niggas, especially. But I know all of. I know me and you. Right. Fuck, fuck if they ain't I got the game if niggas, niggas ain't get it to fuck all that because number one is knowledge. Yeah. Knowing you hear me? Okay. Knowing. Okay. So whether they got the game or not, they ain't got nothing. To, they ain't got nothing to do with the wisdom, bro. Because you got to learn first. Rather than somebody teach you, you got to learn on your own. You got to figure it out. You got to want to know. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I gotta I understand this shit before I jump into it. Like it's like me. Like I gotta like I right, say boom. Example. I'm standing on the diving board. It's a ten foot pool. I never swim before. I gotta understand if I jump in this bitch. I know what they telling me. Like if I kick my legs and put and plat my arms, like I could I could stay afloat. But I also gotta understand if I don't do that and if I don't do it correctly, I could drop down to the bottom of this bitch. So do me having that knowledge, am I really tapped in if I don't understand that bitch? Yeah. Because I got that knowledge of everything, but it, it could be like, okay, what they told me, I'm going to just take it, and I'm going to, uh, I'm taking this shit on, and this is what it is. Normally, though, even like with school, if you're trying to get this knowledge, if you're reading this book, that's when you get wisdom. That's how you get smart. You feel me? You got to, you, you know what I, I mean? You got to want to learn, but you got to, you, you got to go get to the knowledge first. Once you get that knowledge, you soak that in. You got wisdom. You know something now. Motherfucker asks you something, you can tell them. You feel what I'm saying? But as you dig I'm deeper over. into it, bro, it goes farther than wisdom. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. That's, no, that's, wisdom you know, is so that. much more powerful, bro. Yeah, it than is. Than that's knowledge said, that's itself. Over, that's because you're That's why growing. I said wisdom is the overall. But, the, but, but I feel it can't like you be if understand it. before you can even learn that. My bitch. thing is you can know some shit but really don't understand. That's it. Okay, was, that's yeah. that's that's true. Right. You're right. That's true. You feel what I'm saying? You, you know a lot you about shit, bro. True. You can be the smartest yeah. nigga in the world, but never understand. That's true. Like I, I know think. some. Like I got some wisdom on the ozone, the layer, the ozone that, layer, bro. I really don't understand that shit, dog. But that's what, what I'm saying. Learn. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I could know this bitch. I could know this shit, mm-hmm. and I don't under, like. I could not understand, it, but I could understand this shit. But, but you, once, you, I, get, once you learn her, that's when you get to understand her. Nah, but look, I can understand her without knowing her because of a past experience. I mean, say in some cases that's possible, but you still, every everybody is different. So you can't even just say, 
but I got knowledge on this topic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got oh, knowledge. You got general knowledge. You feel what I'm saying? That's, but that's what I'm saying. But every like, female you, is you different. You gotta, it's something that you need to learn about every female. You can't every go into that's another right. situation thinking like, that's okay, what made her happy everything. will make her happy. Nah. Yeah, we learn everything. But that's I say why, that to say Because this bitch might just about, care about money. She don't care about your money. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, we all know Jazzy up. want the money, but 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 that's besides the point. Baby, bro. Jazzy don't want Go the ahead, money. Go in, bro. <laughs> Jazzy just in it for the money. Baby, I'm not in it for the money. Money ain't everything. Get her, Jazzy. Yo, the other day, uh, uh, she, she uh, like, I need, uh, I need some money, uh, or I ain't uh, fucking with you no more. And I was like, damn. Everything. Uh, to Therese, me. what's popping, love? What's popping, love? Hey, Nancy, what's popping, my gang? Go ahead. Uh, hey, know why? That's why this is this topic, love. It's so com- it's so complicated. I ain't gonna lie, that's not a hard all women. I'm not gonna lie, that's a hard topic for me. Like their love is not the same as another woman love. No okay. cap. But I don't think no man love harder than a female though. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Yeah. No crazy than a mother. I don't think female? it's possible, bro. I love because you gotta think nigga. about it. Females are automatically is emotional people, bro. Nah, how, fuck you gonna love, how you gonna love more than somebody that's automatically emotional, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I got keep their fucking heart in it, bro. No. Come on, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. That is true. I, I gotta be honest. It For don't the right matter. one, I be putting my all yeah. in. Yeah. All I'm in. Yeah, I'm already knowing. That's why you be beating them up. That's why. All- <laughs> Exactly oh why you got four. I know you be beating on your men. I don't be beating nobody. Exactly why you got four assault pending cases right now in the Mr. Uh, wow. Court. Yeah, you just can't I'm be putting your. I'm finna beat your ass. You know they turning that shit into a felony soon. You better keep your I hands mean. to yourself. For real. Nah, but. You see, she already done Why he lying on me? <laughs> My nigga Superman Prime with the motherfucking giffies. Good looking W's in the chat, man. Appreciate you, bro. But the yeah, only thing, man. What you saying, bro? But I gotta keep it gutter, right? I don't know if I'm cutting in or not. But I gotta keep it gutter. I wanted to drink in my mouth. Keep it what gutter, the- Savior. I always, I always want to keep it gutter. Keep it gutter. You so light skinned. I always want to keep shit gutter. Go ahead. The only, the, literally, this is one thing. It's only one thing that makes me feel like a woman harder than we. That's the fact that a woman is willing to forever change her body and carry a child for you. That's it. Yeah, motherfucker can't tell me that a dude will love harder than a female. I don't think, unless uh, unless this dude is no. infatuated and she don't care about him at all. Them the only cases I be seeing. Mm. Yeah, but no, that's nah. not love. That's obsession. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. But as far as that, that's a relationship that's wise, different. when you love, when nah, you love but someone, I would just, I would just check it. it. I wanted to ask that because I know a lot of people. As soon as you ask like what you think love is, niggas automatically say loyalty. And to me, loyalty ain't got shit to do with, and it, it's a, it play a factor in that bitch. But I could be loyal to a motherfucker, not love him. Like niggas was young, niggas had big homies, niggas had gangs, niggas had motherfuckers who they loyal to because that's what morals and principles built you, built you that way to be loyal to whoever the fuck you supposed to be loyal to. But you could not love them. But I done been disloyal to motherfuckers I love. So can I say so? I done been in relationship to cheating, my nigga. You disloyal to motherfuckers you love. Speak on it, Jazz. I want to answer this. So I'm going to say, I am still, for me, I'm going to say, I'm still trying to figure out what that is. I could tell you what love ain't, but I don't necessarily know what love is. What? Do that saying, make sense? What? How can you tell me what love ain't if you can't tell me what it is? But go ahead, let me because I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna say that because love to me I'm gonna say what I thought was love with the last dude I was with mm-hmm. I felt like it wasn't love at all because. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like No, but look, this is what I said before, though. At a point in time, you felt like that was love. Yeah. So this is why I said, to me, love is an experience. It's something that's going to help you grow. It's a fit. Like it's, it's, I feel like love is just you tapping into your fears and getting over what the fuck going on 
and you're like before you could like okay like this because if you said at one point in time you felt like what you was getting was love that's yeah. what made you feel like you was in love like made you fuck yeah. you felt like this was love it was until yeah. going through that shit it's levels to love i think i don't think that shit yeah. is just like okay this is it and it's a stamp on it like yeah it's levels to love like it gotta be levels to love so to me like this is the hardest fucking question in the book to fucking answer uh, i don't think it's one answer yeah now what's fucking lou benzy would tap in because i'm gonna hear her gangsta ass point of view on it get your thug ass in here little benzy uh, fuck you at come on Debo. so, so mom so mom baby Debo, get up in here huh oh, Peace. Right. mr nine k he's a mouth share <laughs> To my buddy fucking them tacos up. <laughs> that nigga eat that food that fast. Everybody yeah, here. But what I said when you left, Sal, I said, uh, I said, everybody say that loyalty shit and automatically associate that with love. But I felt like, shit, I could, I don't, I don't, I don't been loyal to motherfuckers who I didn't love. Like niggas done been, like say niggas is squad affiliated, gang affiliated, whatever, whatever. You know you got to be loyal to this shit through morals and principles, but. I don't or love you, that motherfucker, but I done been disloyal to motherfuckers I love. I done cheated on Shorty. Like, so I was disloyal to old girl and I thought I'd fucking my love dog. Her. My motherfucking dog. Let me hear something, little Benzie, because you've been watching. So I want to know. I'm listening, D-Bow. What's up? What's your gangsta ass? Man, why the hell y'all niggas in here sad? Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, oh, you see that? Y'all look so sad in here. You see that? Look, just, 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 just having a hard life. Y'all, it, it's time to nah, start having a hard life. life. How you doing? I just don't know what to this... do with myself. Oh, shit, D'Angelo. <laughs> Can we play some R&B music, D DJ Lurch? Can we get some sad music popping off? What's the no, saddest? No sad what's the though. saddest? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm about to tell y'all the saddest song in history, bro. It's from Stevie Wonder, bro. It's called I Never Knew You Will Leave One Sunday Morning. It's some shit like that, you know? Man, that's Who know that song? Right Who know that song? Right 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 I know that song. DJ Lurch, you know what I'm talking about? DJ Lurch, oh, find no. that song for I me. I ain't bro. trying to make nobody cry. No, man, find hell that song no, we're not for me, bro. Sad, bro. I know we not sad. I want to hear that song. You want to make me sad with that I want to cry. Fuck what y'all talking about. What DJ you want to cry about? Play that song, bro. I don't want to hear none of that shit, bro. Stevie Wonder, bro. I want, hey, Chad, I want y'all to hear this sad ass song. You know what it's called, Lurch? Superman Prime. Good looking at the motherfucker. <laughs> on the Gibbies, gang. I want y'all to hear this song, bro. For real, man. You know what the song? We're not drinking. Yeah. Lurch, you know the song? Uh -uh. Oh, Here we drink it. I think it's called uh Never Leave You in Summer, something yeah, like that. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, type you that in. Me. That's from the uh Poetic Justice uh nigga movie. Come on, niggas heartbroken in the chat. Sale, <laughs> <laughs> not love is nothing more than an emotion feeling. Depending on how deep that feeling is, will determine what you are willing to do for that person. No cap, Blaze. You made a valid point. No cap, Duke. What's poppin', guy? You made a valid point though, Blaze. No okay. All right, bet. We get the picture. That's a sad song, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Sad song. you play it. Like, what you trying to do to people here? I'm What's trying to make y'all sad. You? Hold on. No, no, no. I don't no. want to be sad. What you want, my nigga? I don't want to be what sad. Hey. Don't nobody want to be sad? I don't want to be sad. We just listened to a good song. It was a great song. I ain't nah. start shit. Y'all nah. motherfuckers are sad before I came in. Nah, we nah, wasn't sad. sad. We, just, we not sad. We just, my nigga we tell me you need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> we tapped into the shit that motherfuckers don't talk about. Like, like I said, niggas don't like me personally. At one point, I ain't want to be vulnerable to talk about nothing. You're like, vulnerable, bro. So now, now when you like, yeah, you don't feel like you're vulnerable when you get to talk about shit like this. No. Yeah. Now I don't, but at one point, I do. Time we did. No, you can't and backtrack people... and say now nah, you don't because you just want to disagree with you, bro. Like, yeah, no, we feel vulnerable. I like, yeah, because I feel it now. We you ain't hear what I that, said. Bro. You ain't hear what I said before. We about to do that, though. You ain't hear what I said before I said that statement. You feel vulnerable? No, I said I didn't want to feel vulnerable before talking about shit like okay, that. Okay, you feel like somebody got you, then that's when you feel like somebody got one up on you. Exactly. Yeah, so that's I what I'm saying. Are. Now I'm in the state of mind where well, you're I can talk about this shit. No, I'm not vulnerable no more. Like when the last not, time you was vulnerable, Trey? Because I don't think you being 100 would have talked to me, bro. I swear to God. 
When the last place. when the last time I was vulnerable, I don't know. I can't not say a safe that. place. I can't Why say that safe... because wait, Trey. I feel like it's a violation popping that. up, Who the bro. Fuck said it wasn't a safe place here. Her in Who the corner, Lower Hill. Why you feel like this ain't a safe place? <laughs> Who the fuck said it wasn't a safe place? You got us that right up. there. That right there. What? That's what the chat. I'm just telling you what the chat said. I didn't say this shit. You said it wasn't a safe place. Save y'all. Let's... Go ahead, talk about your vulnerabilities. No, but what this I was is a sad was, ass chat, though. Look, <laughs> niggas can talk about this shit now because niggas is okay with being vulnerable, like feeling like they in positions to be. Hey, chat, y'all now. depressed yet? Let me know, sir. Yes, sir, badass nigga. <laughs> How we gonna talk about sad shit off liquor? <laughs> y'all drunk? <Nah. laughs> yeah. Y'all coming up in this muffin? Y'all are already here. <laughs> That's we your drink at, little busy. We... Shit, I don't we... drink for it. The <laughs> fuck? We got a special guest in the back. Boy, talk about motherfuckers long <laughs> Muffin. <laughs> muffin be here every day. Muffin, shout out to Muffin in the back. <laughs> they say shout, shout out to Muffin. <laughs> muffin in the <laughs> back. What's poppin', wow. Muffin? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Muffin motherfucker saying. <laughs> motherfuckers in the chat lonely. What y'all mean we lonely, man? What the fuck? We gotta turn it up. Get to the questions, bro. What's the questions in the other ones, bro? We not about to do this. Oh, man. You, you, you read those, nigga. Tap in. I, can't, I don't know how to read. I ain't never finished. You don't want to play with the fucking band or whoever the fuck you want to play. Talk about some standing That's a sad song. You gotta listen to it in your way. Why would you play that? Let me tell you, bro. Let me tell you, bro. Listen to that shit one on one. I'm hurting. It's a little violin. I'm gonna tell you how to listen to it, bro. You let you go in a dark room by yourself, right? You gotta be in the middle of the night. You gotta be preferably like two, three in the morning, right? Then you turn that song on, but don't turn it too hot. Get it like oh, you know, yeah. this nigga like, trying to have a good yeah, cry. That's the type of shit that a motherfucker like sit and record themselves, so not boohoo crying, but tearing up. Like you gonna think about some shit that'll make you want to cry if you listen to that song yeah, you, like that. that. Yeah, that is that is giving me harmful. Like you want to hurt because yourself. he fucked up. You can hear the pain and Stevie wonder. Anytime you, you feel like that, pain, game told me. Yo. If you listen, anytime to that, you feel like, no, it's not about me. I'm thinking about Stevie Wonder, bro. You can hear the pain. She walked not, out. She walked out of his life, bro. In the me. summer, I don't think you're being he didn't see with me it like coming. That. I mean, of course I don't he think couldn't see, with me but like he didn't know. She didn't left know. that man high and dry. He didn't know it was coming, bro. She just walked you out not, of Stevie Wonder life. Like who are you does that? With me right now? Huh? She didn't leave that nigga no. She didn't do nothing. She just left in the summer. She wanted a hot girl. <laughs> yes, hot in girl. the seventies. In the you fucking. Don't ever have a hot girl. This shit been going on since the seventies. Niggas, niggas was niggas was somebody in the Motherfuckers was cheating in the say, bro? more than he probably was cheating in the It was a hot up. madam summer. It wasn't a hot girl summer. It was a hot madam. Yo, at least at least, at least, at least show these cheating with niggas getting more money than you Hell no, nigga. I'm being single, bro. Fuck all that, nigga. You, we, get, we get a circle back around when you ready, bro. I, I, I'll tag you in when you ready, bro, because I am I ain't got time for that. In the 50s, you play a player from the Himalayas. I don't got time for that shit. No, in the 50s, sir. Niggas was putting their time in the steel plant for 50 hours. You say you got niggas you a bottom home. bitch, huh? And that's why I'm not born in the 50s, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> niggas was born, came home, and she was the milkman was knocking her bottom loose. Ooh. That nigga had to do no hard work. He was buzzing his ass I all day at work, 10, 12 hours. He come <laughs> home. At least Shorty's sure cheating with the nigga getting crazy money now. Like, Milkman ain't locking it down. A mailman ain't knocking it down. Fuck that being a housewife. Then a UPS nigga dropping dick off in the Browns. No. <laughs> with the rope <rubber> on. <laughs> Lay, stop playing with me. The Browns, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga dropping it off in the brown rubber, man. <laughs> you wild. <laughs> Man, let's go to these questions, man. Yeah, tap in with these questions. <laughs> Who gonna read, bro? That's, I'm yeah, let me see. What we stopped off at? Dennis, what you over there? You got on Netflix? You over there chilling? Nah, I'm watching the comments and let shit. Let me see. Uh, you can't see Madam. Who is Madam, bro? You sure motherfuckers don't act up? It's my motherfucking nigga, DJ. Happy birthday, Happy birthday bro. Who's Madam? Who is, I don't know who Madam is. Okay. You, pro- you. You nah, he talking about me. I was talking to is his ass. Is anybody going to read a fucking question? Man, listen. Nigga, ain't it in your Discord? Okay, it's a, it's a where is the world heading to? 
Man, Hell. Hell. Next question. Next fucking question. Hell. I'm gonna just skip all his shit then. Blaze, it's my name tag, bro. It's my name tag, bro. bro headed to him. It's my, it's my name tag, man. You can't skip all this shit because the nigga probably got some shit. Do you think the women would drop pussy aliens from a different planet or that's just me? Yeah, it's, yo, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. What? Who the fuck said that? Jewel. <laughs> What the fuck you up, June? This nigga doing all that shit. Oh, he got a good question from June though. Who comes? Who comes first? Your mom or your girl? Oh shit! Oh, that's shit. Good. That's easy. Mom comes first. Unless your girl is your wife, then your oh, wife your word. comes Unless before your, your mom. Now my mama come first. I ain't gonna lie. My mama come first. Well, and I don't really, I'm not cool with my mom, really. I still love her, but me and her and I don't have relationships. So I don't know. Just yeah, real dark. Like okay. This is deep. No matter what, no matter what me and my mama go through, bro, she always gonna come first, bro. Really? This is deep. What about you? Yeah, guys? that woman carried me for nine months, and I know I was heavy as a bitch. What about me, Jay? So, yeah, mom. That's say, say your mom or your girl. They don't say your mom or your man. Okay, we asked the ladies. What about your man? I'm, I'm about to flip your it right now. Man. Mm -mm. Yeah, my father come first. I'm gonna have to say my daddy. <laughs> See now, you got you got to ask a real simple question. You you asking crazy questions. Who plate you making first at the cookout? Your man's or your father's? Oh, you gonna make your man? They making my shit first. Yeah, they making my shit first. See now, first. now look how to answer. I ain't making my daddy plate. <laughs> exactly. No, no, you know, you know, play, so. I'm bet, bitch, I bet not catch you making another can motherfucking make my daddy plate. plate. Bitch, my mom can a... make my daddy plate. Somebody, you better listen. I ain't gonna lie, my mama come first, but it be hard. It's hard to say. Like, listen. So you making your mama play first? You making your mama play first, Trey, or your girl? That would be my girl. Play first. Okay then. But that's like a different type of question. The plate shit is easy. I can yeah, the plate no, is easy. That, that, that is real simple, is simple and will start a fucking argument. Something that simple. Nah, I can't do that. My family is not that toxic, bro. Oh, oh I know toxic, it. honey. Hey, yeah. nah, I'm above that. I told them. I love y'all. I'll never talk to y'all again. Y'all do that toxic ass shit. Yeah. Well, Jody, <laughs> what Melvin said, you got a pedibus complex. Yeah, you want to be a woman. Yeah, yeah. Small woman. Small woman. Small woman. Small woman. Small woman. Small woman. I want to say this: If you, if your mama and your girl are getting into an argument, whose side are you gonna take? I'm not Neither. taking my mama. I'm, 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 I'm confused. Yeah, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. We, we, we Neither, get because I'm out of here. Hey, listen, bring I'm your ass home. Drink. I ain't taking nobody's side. I'm taking. I ain't gonna lie. You want me to keep it a buck? I'm leaving. I'm taking both they sides in front of both of them. I ain't starting to be with my mom. I ain't starting to be with her. So when I when I defuse the situation when we get in the car, my mother's gone. I'm gonna jump on her ass. So you gonna you take both sides behind they when back? I, when I jump, when I jump, jump on the phone, my mama. Mom, I don't know why she got this. Two faces here. She was ratchet. They go together. I mean, both of them. They got to put your knife. Nah. That is jokes, but nah. Wait, somebody cool. in the shit said, who's sitting in the front seat, your mom or your girl? Mom. I knew that shit. I knew that question. But my mom's the so crazy, cool. The my girl, thing she don't want to hop in the back anyway. My, my, my mother cool as hell. My mother going to be like, nah, go ahead, sit in there. Exactly. Oh, like, sit in the front. Like, <laughs> I really think a lot different. Your lady's supposed to sit in the front, though, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No cap. Why the nigga said both on Walker? He talking about both on Walker. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga tweaking. Like, I think that's all boy with the uh, So who comes first? Oh, is, it depends on the situation. Like I'ma love my mama forever. That's who you know what I mean? But I at the same time I'm not about to like I'm not sleeping with you, mama. You feel me? That's like, it's a different I'm not having kids with you, mama. And I'm not keeping my blood alive with you, mama. You know what I mean? See, it's all, so it's it depends on the situation for real. It's easy You're for happy. me to answer that because I don't got no toxic mom. My mama would be my mama, yeah, my mama cool, cool as hell. Mama like, yeah. My mama my cool mama as hell. Like she ain't hell. my mama don't even want to be in my minute. She wanna live her life. She thinks she's Stella right now anyway. There's in reality nobody's How supposed to your go, mama, bro. So put your eyebrows the fuck down. I don't oh. ask you no question like that. I'm just it ain't even <laughs> like, we ain't even gotta get into that. Like, I'm we ain't just gotta like that. I don't want you to just ask. Like, I don't is it want close? You to like, just did you round it up no, to the nearest 40 thing, or something? The thing is, the thing is. 
when I say is that and don't single? say nothing, you supposed to move on. Is she single though? <laughs> this dude, why? <wild. laughs> Where's your laugh? I'm not that. Yo, Trey Fish got it, bro. This podcast in the early as a mother. No, I'm just wondering because your mom, I seen your mom doing yoga. Oh, that was your grandma. It was one of them, bro. You wildin', bro. You said, you said, what about Nana? I ain't saying nothing. Oh, you know. Now you oh, chill out, bro. I ain't know what you said. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. What you talking about? Oh, yeah, just chill, because yeah. you know Nana. What do you mean by that? I'm scared of Nana. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. What do you mean? I ain't by scared that? of nobody in this world. That was my grandmother. But That's Nana, my grandmother doing yoga. Nana, doing yoga together. Nana is so funny. Hey, listen, if y'all don't be tapping in to Trey Instagram stories and his TikTok, bro, y'all be missing it, bro. That should be so funny when you get with his Nana, man. Nigga, my grandmother the funniest. My mother, my mother, sixty, but she looked about forty. Yeah, that's what I'm. I didn't see you fuck me up when you just said that. Sixty. Yeah. My mother's sixty-one. Yeah, I actually, be, I gotta be in Jersey. Sometime. You know, I'm the young. Yeah, nah, yeah. <laughs> okay, come, come on. <laughs> you wild. No, I don't know what you talking about, that, bro. Bro, he got to get that me. Nigga, <laughs> that nigga gonna be wrinkled as hell. Be like that. That nigga shit gonna be wrinkled as hell. Like you want your mom to be your woman. Stop blocking me. You got some respect. Look, you talk that shit to me, but I'm beating y'all. Me and my sister go beat your ass. Oh, man, come on. I might like, I on, might man. like getting jumped by you and your sister. What the fuck is you let, let me pull up to that. There's a nigga car in the driveway. We going through your shit. And we coming in. We kicking on the door. Pull nigga up. knocking. Then when she open the door, we going to the back because we know where you at. Number one. Gonna, bro, number one, since playing. I was little, I've been, I've been great at running out of people's house when people pop up unexpectedly. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that now. i just been awesome with that type of shit. I'll get away. <laughs> Shit. I'm going through the window and she going back out there. You're not going to make it far, bro. You can't, you can't you look not, at all not, windows, though. You got a front window, you got the back window. It's going to be whichever window you not at. I'm going to hide in the basement on your ass like a leprechaun. You will never find me. You got to let my mother be rapping play nice for you when I come in the crib. I'm fucking something up. You got to come in for your car. I see a Dodge Caravan out front. For your car, there's no that. That shit going to be hard. No, I'm sending Triple A to get that. You let my you let my mama start rapping baby face Ray. I'm fucking somebody up when I yeah, get home. I, I know for real, bro. She, she's beautiful though, but I ain't. You know what I mean? I like she hands but listen. No, 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 don't even worry about it. But what? You ever had a knot on your head? She and they talking oh, about your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that in the box under you, Sal? They on That's LaBenzi. Ass. I ain't gonna lie, them niggas been. I ain't listen, bro. Listen, that. let me tell y'all hey. something. Y'all can stop asking about Lil Benzie, okay? Hey, y'all can ask, yeah, stop asking know. about Lil Benzie, right, motherfucking now, okay? Cause she a speech. She, 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> I she, 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 Lou Benzi really just came home. She's still on the bracelet, too, y'all. Oh, stop. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. How long you been on parole, Lou Benzi? I ain't never been on the papers. Only thing I got a speeding ticket, bro. I ain't never been on the papers, bro. I ain't never been on the papers, bro. I ain't never been on the papers, bro. I don't believe you. Who's that in the back? Muffin? That's Muffin ass. Tell Muffin I said, what's up? Hey, yo, Sully said, what's up? Mo, uh, Sully? Why she ain't getting on? He said, what's up? Cause he over there playing Pokemon. He playing Pokemon. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, folks, I'm gonna play too. What you got in your refrigerator? Shit, some fruit. Fruit and pickles and baking soda. That's what? It. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you think you got some baking soda? I'm gonna throw pickles, pickles in the house right now. Steady said, "Add him." I can see that. Who else got? Steady, <laughs> if, you, if niggas add you, you got to open your mouth. Tell you Steady he got to hop in the waiting room. Then I'm going to drag him. Hop in the waiting room, Steady. You heard him. Let me get your 12-year-old with a tattoo. With a neck Everybody tattoo. always talking about I'm not cut like that. Everybody always want to discredit me for something. Just face it. Y'all, that? you feel me? You can't discredit me for shit. That nigga said you got an Xbox on your ankle. <laughs> 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 I ain't got nothing on my ankles, bro. <laughs> not the house, bro. bro, hey, man, I can leave and go where I want, bro. <laughs> Look, if I was on papers, I would have had a card, though. All right, listen, this is what we about to do, chat. If y'all want to shoot y'all shot at Lil Benzie, bro, 
Let me know. I'm about to set this shit up right now. And then she gonna pick one of y'all niggas. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, you got to turn that camera on. Yeah, you got to turn your camera on. You got to turn it on. I turned it on. I don't know if y'all know. That's my motherfucker guy right there. It's Chico the Barge. Did the vibe channel just turn into an E-Day? Yeah, we got busy on the front line. Yeah, we out here. So go ahead, Seti. Uh, you gave these niggas hold. Seti. Yes, I've been on these damn E days. You go bro. first, bro. I'm probably. I want to. What go am back. I going for, sir? It's an E day, Lil Busy. Ah. That nigga's a shot. That nigga got nervous. That nigga talked crazy all day. He got nervous. Look, he over here. He was like, I wasn't ready. I was just trying to talk to my mother. Yeah, over there blushing and shit. Y'all know they trying to give me a do-rag <laughs> endorsement. Y'all some wish-to-watch ass niggas. That's what type of time you on. So who want to who wanna get into this E-Day? Mr. 9K? Bet, 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 bet. I got you. Seti, you got anything you want to ask, Lil Busy? You want to add this dog mask nigga so bad. Who? Yeah, don't um, come on here with that uh, fucking dog mask either. Mm-mm. Uh, uh. Don't add his goofy ass up in here. Waldo I'm not going to say that. Right that now. Nigga looking at private chat. Looking at private chat and looking at our faces when he showed that dog face. Shit, <laughs> Don't we do it, bro? Like, that. Yeah, that nigga dog face. 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 Yeah, Hey, Chad, listen. Yeah. When Mr. 9K joined us last week, this was our face. Hold on. You got to zoom in them shit. I swear to God. Oh, oh, there you go right there. Look at this you shit. You got to zoom in. When he joins, look at our face. Do <laughs> 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 Take it back in here, gang. Like, he was trying to. Hey, little Benzie, I'm a, let me say this, little Benzie. I ain't bro. never see you fuck with nobody consistently. You, <laughs> you, you gang. If you gang, just say that. No, you which gang, just say that. What? I ain't, never, I ain't never see you rock with other niggas consistently. If you gang, just say that. I mean, y'all cool. I ain't got no smoke with nobody. I that's fuck gang. with y'all. That's gang. Hey, yo, that's gang. Hey, hey. Start eating, uh, drinking them boozy ass drinks. Like that. This from Starbucks, bro. Yeah, Boozy. Boozetta. That's what I'm going to call you. Boozetta. That's so good, my nigga. You know, I'm really always sad. on the healthy tip, bro. If you, like, if I take this shirt off, bro, you can actually, like, fry eggs you on my stomach my if I was to stand outside. Yeah. Never mind. If I, I was to stand outside. Yeah. Like, I'm really, <laughs> like, built like that up under this bitch. Like, I would really take Twitch and ban me for the rest of the year if I was to take my shirt off. Like, that's uh, very... If I take this shit off, man, nigga, D'Angelo video. What? I'm gonna look like a D'Angelo video. I take this shit off. I ain't gonna lie. He talking about he need it as a profile picture. Bet, bet, bet. I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm gonna that? put it in the um. In the what's it called the chat? I'm gonna put it in the. Hey, uh, Jazzy, put that in the um general chat for me, please. Oh, she froze. Lurch, put that in the general chat for me. Let's get to a, let's get to a question though before I go into. Oh, work. Jazzy, got it. Oh, you about to go to work? Yeah, my schedule changed. Just quit. Oh, yeah, you don't you you listen, listen, but we on your ass. I'm on your ass later, but you don't listen. <laughs> and the famous words of Troy. dealing with two women. That drink the motherfucking drop. That drink the motherfucking drop. Okay, what I'm putting in general chat? Break that picture that you put in the vibe. Put it in the general chat, please. Okay, right. we're going to go to this question Yo, right there. That. That's how she slapping already, Jazzy? How do you deal with huh? depression is the question, y'all. Oh, Real question. Oh, I, I yes. have this one because you know I'm bipolar IRL, so like I suffer through this often. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. Main, the most thing is you gotta. I mean, for me personally, how I handle myself and when I go through hard times, I don't hold it in because the moment you hold everything inside of you, I mean, you gonna have that breaking point. You don't know what's gonna happen when you hit that breaking point. 
True the biggest true. thing is you need to find peace within yourself. So I meditate. I meditate. I write in a journal if I don't want to talk to somebody about how I'm feeling or even like I'll go to therapy. And I mean, there's also medication you could do. But like my biggest thing that has always helped me other than like the medication portion is just meditation, bro. Meditation and finding inner peace within myself. I see a lot of people in there in the chat talking about some smoke. Man, that shit can only do so much. Temporary. Yeah, that, that's temporary. It only do so much. Yeah. It's been working that's, for about that's, 20 that's, years for me. Smoking is just temporary. I mean, that just might numb the pain. Same with medication. Medication just numbs the pain. But until you are able to figure out how you can find inner peace within yourself, I mean, you're always going to get back to that point. Okay. Okay. Okay, Um, where is it at? Waldo in the chat says, Benzie, put up a peace sign. I need a WCW picture. All right, let me let me blow the screen up. Hold on. <laughs> let me blow the screen up. Hit up one more time. Hit him with the peace. Bow. Waldo, there you go right there. Hurry up. Screenshot it. Screenshot it. Okay, we gone. <laughs> All right, bet, 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 bet. Okay. Yeah, but mental health yeah, but is a real mental song. health is a real topic that mm -hmm. we really it's need to speak on. It's definitely a real topic. How do I deal with mm -hmm. depression? I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm not that good at dealing with it, man. Uh, I, I ain't trying to rob no bank. I shut down. You hear me? So I like lay in bed all day. That's how I deal with it. Watch TV or something. Up. Chill. Like won't answer the phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just don't. I talk when I'm hair. like when I'm depressed. I don't talk. I don't talk for real. I've been trying. I've been trying to though, but I I deal with the same shit. Like I get distant as hell. Yeah, motherfuckers mm -hmm. like, yo, what the down. fuck wrong with you? Like, what's wrong? Man? Yeah, like, man, ain't nothing yeah. wrong with me. I know. Like, I don't want to. You don't want to talk about it. Until you ready to talk wanna, about it? Because yeah. I don't feel like I could figure this shit out myself. Because I have so many times. So when I finally do figure it out, it's like, all right, bet I'm back. But whole time that shit is not healthy at all. Like we need it. Like I'm trying to tap yeah. into communicating, but that's what I was talking about before. Not feeling like I want to be vulnerable. Like. You feel like you vul like you you vulnerable when you get to tapping into that shit. Like, yeah, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Cause niggas, uh, it's a lot of niggas that are used that to their fucking advantage. And it's a lot oh, of men that want to admit that they depressed on some one hundred shit because true. it's that's a pride true. thing. Like you you looked at as yeah. soft because because you depressed. No, everybody but shit, deals we might not shit. even know we depressed because we've been no going cap. through it so many long. We feel yeah. like it's normal. No cap. But we all go sorry to butt in. Uh -huh. But man, us as black men, man, we need to talk about our mental health because that. Man, like that shit fuck over us more than anything. No cap. Like it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to talk it about it. Is. I know we don't want to talk about it because our pride, but man, if somebody I just did. sit up there and just ask us what's wrong, like man, we you don't want to talk about. We're laying out for you. I, ain't gonna lie, I just recently went through this shit, and yeah. I ain't, and I act like I ain't act like it ain't nothing. Like like how recent. Like two weeks ago, we like nigga, like, like nigga, this is my outlet, nigga. Right. You Everybody need I an mean, outlet. Now that's the main thing I with this. You. No cap, no cap. I remember. So this is the thing with this. Like, if you ever in a space where you like you feeling depressed, you don't have nobody to talk to, it's things that you can do to get your mind off that. You feel me? And as you get older and you start to realize know. and understand like the signs of when you depressed, like you know the signs. Yeah, Katana. You feel what I'm saying? When you figure that out, you need to find something to put that energy towards, bro, that'll make you happy or even make you, like, get your mind off. Yeah. It. It's about distractions yeah, like, at the end of the day. Though. Yeah, you, you want to distract you your mind. Like, as long as you stay productive, like, if you go hit the gym, if you're having a bad day, go hit the gym. Or if you're an artist, like, draw something. Like, draw your emotions. That's another way to, like, express yourself. Like, me, I'm an artist. I express bro. myself through art. Dude. When I'm feeling down, I rap better. Like we got so much going, we got so much going against us as black men. Like mental health should be the least thing on our mind to worry about. Like but it's it a big should thing. be all, issue. It should be cool for us to talk about our feelings. Like man, we got so much to go through, man. Like for real. And the thing is, I get a lot of DMs, and and, they, and, and a lot of people be telling me like, "Sell, bro, I appreciate you, man." I come and watch you, bro, and it gives my mind off a lot of shit. You feel me? I can sit there and laugh. I know I can come and laugh as soon as I tap in with you, and it'll get my mind off of it. 
And I'll be letting them know, like, nigga, I appreciate that, bro. I'm glad I can help you. You know what I mean? I'm not just going to look at your message and not reply. Like, I tell them, like, I'm glad I can help you out, bro. So if it's anything that can distract you from that or you know something that can get your mind off that, even if it's more materially, bro, to help you build back up, bro, that's what you need to put all your energy towards. You hear me? Whatever you can to get up out that hole, bro. You feel me? Let me tell you this. Never get distracted too long that you're going to deal with it. Mm Mm-hmm. You don't eventually that. have to deal with it for sure. Deal with it. Because we get like 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 Rosie said, she she said it's been helping me for a long time, but shit. Just getting high, like I used to think me sipping was like, nigga, I, that thing, nigga, I got that bucket in my system. Bucket, it is what it is. That shit don't help. That shit don't help. That shit start to you start realizing how your actions affect us. Like you don't even know that you fucking like you you fucked up. I like use it so normally you don't know that you fucked up. Then you tap you you going in on a motherfucker who's showing you the utmost respect, the utmost love, and you on they ass about something that ain't got nothing to do with them because you ain't deal with what the fuck going on with you. I'm yep. up with you because I'm mad with myself. Okay. That breeds a toxic cycle, and that toxic cycle gonna continue to go. Like we don't need to. So for those who got kids, for those who plan on having kids, we got to start self reflecting and dealing with ourselves before we. I mean. Pass that shit on to generations. Because mm-hmm. that shit is a re- like a repetitive cycle. Like, that shit is like, that's, sh- and that shit not a good cycle. That shit Hell not a good no. cycle at all. Hell no. Like, one thing about me, and I always say, I always say with my homies, like, they in chat right now, too. Them niggas just tapped in today. Like, we always be talking about this shit. Like, we, I grew up on, we grew up on love, though, even though we was in love. Niggas grew up on love. So, that's why I was a little like any choice that we chose to do outside, we chose it on our own. Like it was like fuck it, but we grew up on love. We could have been smack dab in the middle of the hood. We knew if we went home, mom dukes was gonna hug us. We was gonna get some food. We was gonna do so fuck right. be saying like man, shit was fucked up. Yeah, shit was fucked up, but I knew what love feel like. I know how it feel. I also know how it feel when mom dukes upset about something and she take it out on us. It's not folks, even your same fault. cycles, them shits matter. Like it shit matter, and nobody perfect, but it's just ways to deal with that shit. Like it's ways to deal with that shit, so you don't pass it on. And I be having to like catch myself sometimes, and it's just as a recent that I've been doing that and catching myself and moving properly because I've been self reflecting a lot. Like if you don't look your fucking self in the mirror, bro. If you don't tell yourself like nigga, what you nigga, that shit ain't it. You gonna be fucked up. Like I ain't gonna lie, you gonna be fucked up. Like, it's not crazy to have a conversation with yourself. You got to know yourself. You got to know yourself. Self-reflection is key, my nigga. That shit is key. Self-reflecting the change. And Savion, why you smell? You look like a granny in bed. You really got a lot of love. <laughs> we have one-on-one conversations, too. Hey, that nigga, let me know that motherfucking pillow, though. <laughs> Self- self-reflection is key, bro. Man, what's the next question, man? Because I don't even want to think about it. Y'all back on this ass shit again. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. hold on. Change it because I got to ruin my mood. Fuck you, you penny. <laughs> You're white. Fucking penny. You're white. He took my shit to white. <laughs> All right, man, hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Who are more toxic, men or women? Come on, now. Nah. Women. Damn. Too easy, man. <laughs> women. Sales. Somebody you ain't even have to ask that man. question. That's an easy-ass answer. Who more toxic, men or women? Jazzy. Fuck is y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it don't get more toxic than Jazzy. Because I can't even tell Jazzy hello without fuck you, Penny. Yeah, you fucking dickhead. Hey, you ain't lying. Like Every morning. Every morning, I'm like, good morning, like, fuck, fuck you, you I'm like, okay. That okay, shit don't make no do. sense. I come in that bitch, what's up, gang? Good morning, gang. Here come Jazzy. You the freak. I'm like, damn. <laughs> damn. Why <laughs> oh, oh, you disrespectful as hell? Why are you saying nothing to you, bro? Oh, y'all yeah, land on me. Jazzy love, Jazzy love. Cause I say, I say, good morning to all y'all. Jazzy love her mother. Yeah, you bro. say good morning, then fuck you right hey, up. Hey, um, Sadie, what the fuck is you doing Not up there, bro? Lying. You up there fixing earrings and shit, bro? It's a whole podcast. You ain't saying shit with this motherfucking do rag on your head. See him do rag. You look like little bow wow on the cover of the do rag. Fuck is you doing, little Romeo Wow? Little Romeo Wow. 
That nigga said he wow. Get your ass out of here. He's been up there the whole time. Green screen ass. That shit kind of circulation. That nigga don't know if he a thug or a B2K member. I mean, it's just me. Got on his ass for the day. I swear to God, he fit right in with a B5 member. This nigga, look, look at this nigga, yo. Everybody not the B5. Nigga's a B5 member. Say, do you streaming, bro? Yeah. Hey, yo, oh, chat, what's shit. up, man? Yo, chat, don't even fuck what with up, me no more. Every time what I come up, up in that bitch, what you want, Sal? I'm like, damn, bro. Mm -hmm. I came in there the other day and tried to speak. There ain't nobody say shit. I'm like, damn, why? Chill. Really, right, my bro, bad, my bad. Savages in this motherfucker. My bad. <laughs> This motherfuckers really I said even chat role playing this motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> they, they dedicated like bro is. I said I ain't mad. WRP. So what gang you in in Grizzly World right now, bro? ICG. And what that stand for? I change gangs. Little Romeo, yeah, I, 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 I told you. I told you, nigga. I see DC college ass. Little Romeo. Don't care. About, if you want to get your same criminal gang. So go ahead, uh, Sadie, go ahead yeah, and tell me on. that, like, that message that come you had sent me in it. private, you can send it to her right now, since she right here. Huh. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about it? <laughs> you see the smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about it, I said it? It's okay. Nah, we ain't going to talk about it. All right, bet, 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 bet. We, keep that, we keep that between me. I ain't going to say nothing about that message you sent me when you said that you would put her toes between. Never mind. We going to do something else. <laughs> We go to the something. What's the next question, bro? I like feet. Not the toes in between the never mind. Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference between providing and nurturing? I want the females to answer this. What's the difference between providing and nurturing? I want to say a titty, but I ain't gonna say that. It's um, little busy. What's on you? It's on you, little busy. My <laughs> <laughs> Providing and nurture. Yeah. Providing is like paying the bills, making sure food <laughs> on the table, and then nurture is like being there mentally and being there like on that up that other type of level. Like it's not nothing you can buy. Like that nurturing is like you there. Like if I have a bad day, you there. If something yeah. happens, if I got something that, ha that happens to me, I could call you and you there. Now you a provider, you providing bills, a place to stay, a, a place to lay, and shit like that. But you you can't do one without the other. I concur. I agree. Can't put a price on that nurture, and I ain't gonna lie. Hell no, nah, that just comes with so the what's one. the difference, Jazz? Really? Put a price on anything, nigga. What's the difference? She just said, said what, what the difference was. I asked you. I didn't <laughs> say what she said. <laughs> it's no difference. I don't have to explain it. She explained it perfectly. But I yeah, asked you a question. question. On, what is you here for if you're not gonna answer the questions? <laughs> Come on, Miss Flushy. We need to hear something. But I asked you. Hey, I didn't say hey, what hey. she said. You and these motherfucking 7-Eleven slushies every week. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> hey, How come she be drunk off some 7-Eleven slushies? And Louisa, they call Y'all gonna stop disrespecting my damn daiquiri. Okay, if y'all drink the weekend daiquiri, just say that. I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure out. If y'all drink the weekend daiquiri, just say that. You be getting these daiquiris from these carnivals, bro. I don't get them from those carnivals. Ooh, hey. Hold on. Hey, well, I save y'all. This nigga save y'all said something slick. And I'm trying to. I think he said. You could put a price on anything. When I said you can't put a price on nature. Like a nature thing. He said you could put a price on anything. I don't know about that. Chad. I don't think I don't know about all that. You can't put a price on peace of mind. You can't, you can't put, put a price, price on loyalty. Nature. You can't put a price on loyalty. If you could put a price on anything, nigga, I know for a hundred bands you knock my head off. Oh shit. See, it's a lot of sad questions in this shit, gang. I got to, I'm gonna answer this one. That's, that's what I told Corey. you, yo. We gotta Yeah, get live Corey asks, is it more important? No, no, fuck that. This is sad too. Money Trail the King said, "What's your favorite memory you had with your ex? What's the favorite? What's your favorite memory you had with your ex, Jazzy?" Fucking. Go straight to you first. I need to hear this shit. What's up with him? What's his name? Lil Daryl. What's the favorite memory you had with Lil Daryl? Lil Daryl. His name ain't Lil Daryl. She said her name. She said his name, Big Daryl. Stop playing with him. It ain't that nigga nothing. named Bartholomew. Medium Daryl. We gonna keep it going. Medium Daryl. What's the what was the funnest? What's the funnest memory you had? With Beethoven. 
<laughs> Go ahead, put that shit on the floor. I know you want to smile when you think about it. Like, yeah. Yeah. That nigga had me tooted up and I uh, farted in his face. Go ahead, say what you was going to say, oh, though. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Why oh, y'all be coming for me? Why y'all be coming for me? Yo, Jazzy, that's Listen, how them some of Listen, let me say this. If you fart doing oh, sex, you just a whole, you just a different type of nasty. If you fart doing sex, you ain't right. You ain't proper. I'm not talking about queefing. I'm talking about just like full-blown It might happen once. It might It might have happened one time, girl, but... It was a little mistake, nigga. Let a little boot out. You done let a little boot out. Like, <laughs> it's definitely definitely if it stink, though. Like if it's Word, one of those. That's the thing. Uh, you, I know he he didn't remind him. It's like, he just kept on going. Word, <laughs> nigga said, you fart to a sex. You crazy. You just, that's just a different type of freaky. If you just fart and a nigga nah, just keep going. Like, listen. Keep, keep doing you that. You stop thing. it. Niggas supposed to stop? Am I stopping? I'm talking about yes, later, I'm gonna stop for a minute because I'm gonna laugh. Number one, I'm goofy as fuck. I don't give a fuck what we doing. I'm gonna act like I hear that shit. I don't care shit, what we doing. I'm laughing. You hear me? Like you just, you just, bitch, you just fart. This is the face I'm making behind you. <laughs> Especially in the sixth <laughs> jump. <laughs> no, we scrapping. Scrapping. Got... we scrapping, Lurch. I'm not gonna lie. I'm throwing her on the floor. This shit is on the floor. You hear me? Ain't no farting in my face, and we just about to do this. Keep going all the way down. I'm not even feeling that type of. I'm not feeling that way no more. Like I'm, my whole emotions done change. Literally put it on the floor. Like bitch, you just hit this hot, hot ass air in my face. What was the question, yo? I don't even know what the question was. That shit just got me destroyed. Yeah, I'm trying not to lie. Like. What the fuck is you? Is, saying, see, look yo? at what. Look at Wavy Chris. You know Wavy Chris a virgin, right? He and Chat gonna say getting soft after that. How do you know? How do you know? Oh, man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Y'all about to leave my boy Chris alone. Y'all ain't he about said, to leave like He said, just yet. hold on. I'm going home. <laughs> Sadie left his cheer in right here. Sadie, what you doing, bro? Hey, everybody that's in Sadie Chat, I need y'all to come in my chat right now. Leave Sadie Chat. Since he want to leave his cheer, I need y'all to leave him. You hear me? Everybody come in this bitch. If y'all come in the chat right now, we about to get all y'all some If you gonna join our Discord, y'all need to be anxious. Join that motherfucker. Don schemes in this bitch. Why is Sarah Reed said she wanna join too? Don schemes, where the fuck you been at, man? Reed not join it, bro. Reed ain't seen you in forever, bro. Word, Don schemes been low key like cheap. My dog been ducked off, man. What you you been all right, bro? This is a safe place. You can tell us what's going on, man. Yeah, bro. Big safe place. Oh, you been on vacation? Right. Okay, Who next? Who next? Where you enjoying it? Hey, I listen. I'm saving your fucking hey, foot. Hey, up, though. Yo. So how you gonna react to it, bro? React to what? Like if a motherfucker, like if you were with a female, y'all doing y'all thing, and then she just farting in your face. Check it out. <laughs> 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 Like, I don't like you that. He, he like that. Likes, he nasty. He probably nah. tell him. He, he like that I'm shit. I'm talking about you. You eating that box up? She just scraped. Nah, that's different. She ain't if got you, no reason to do nah. that. She if she about to eat it, if you eat her out and she about nah. to fart, just blowing it, just blow it back in. Yep. What? Then my next question. Next question. <laughs> yeah. Go out. Look at that nigga, boy. The nigga is light skin with a neck tat. He look like he probably put water mm -hmm. on his stuff before he do All it, right. my nigga. Okay. Like, go, no, go, said it. Let me ask you a 100 question, bro, because you my, you my man. Do you get your eyes off the chat? Let me ask you. Said it. You get your eyebrows done when you get the head. Good looking at the gifty, gang. My eyebrows are natural. He light skin. Let me see. Look at the camera right quick, Sadie. He's going to say some freaky shit like that. My eyebrows are natural. Now, on my mama, said it. You cannot tell me you don't know how to dance, bro. I don't dance. I, it's not. I don't know how to dance. I don't dance. You know how though, don't you? Yeah. Like at what yeah, age was you like you hip? That nigga practice. What? You be hip rolling, don't you? Nah, nah, nah. What type of dancing <laughs> you be doing then? Pop lock. <laughs> y'all some fucking bullies. Y'all know the god y'all is. Y'all some fucking bullies, bro. <laughs> I did one bitch, my dog, man. We don't have that many oh, light dudes. We got all light skinned niggas on this bitch. I'm the only one that's right. Let me find out. Let me find out. Yeah. <laughs> Let me find out. You doing that shit for Lil Frank. Lil Frank. Put your fight up. Said he'd be out there dancing in the rain. That nigga Ray He's about Sadie for sure, Millie Rock. <laughs> Yo, what was the question before this? I think I don't even question. remember, I don't remember. bro. Your we best know. memory with your ex, you weird ass, off topic ass niggas. Yeah, we, no, we talking about that. <laughs> why, why, why the fuck are you talking oh, about? Oh, what is your favorite? 
What is your favorite memory with your ex, Savion? That's crazy. <laughs> your favorite memory with your ex, leaving her goofy ass. Like, I, that's cool. I, I ain't got no memory with no ex. <laughs> oh, ain't no ex. Oh, I don't remember God. my ex name. <laughs> Fuck. I spit that water out. Fuck. <laughs> Nigga said favorite favorite memory with your ex. What's your favorite what? memory with Ain't your no ex? ex. Ain't Shit. no ex. I don't even have no ex. Damn. I don't know. Favorite memory. I felt that motherfucking answer. Who my current? I don't know. Okay, Rosie. What's your favorite memory with your ex? I just, like they fuck all it. dead. I don't got none. Let me no find ex. out that nigga was bullshit. Any that nigga. Is- that I broke up with you, died? Yeah, nigga ain't dead. Ain't nobody <laughs> break up with me. I ain't no, got no exes. We don't want to hear that. It. Who? Them niggas. niggas been you all your life. All your crazy life. You got shit. Right. No, we I, got, I, you I, know, I ain't gonna have an ex. Once you done with me, I don't even know you, girl. I don't know you. It depends on the relationship, bro, though. What was your favorite hey, memory with your ex, Ezra? Oh, oh, Donsky, hold on, Donsky uh, said leaving Jazzy was mine. She toxic. <laughs> <laughs> they got twin fuck a dead homies. I go in the track tripping right now. You ain't answering that question though. Y'all ain't got this no favorite memories area. with your ex. No, I ain't gonna lie. Which one I left? Wrong question. Listen, that was the first memory I had. That's, that's what I was about to say, bro. When I my got the fuck away memory. from her, that was my favorite that's what I memory. Said, leaving her because I've been in. Like I was just telling them the other day, bro. I've been in relationships that, that was horrible. Like a bitch tried to run me over with her car. Oh my god! Yeah. Bitch tried to yeah. pepper spray me. Yo, I'm just going to a story time for them real quick. The bitch Elaborate on the story sister. you told us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We gotta let them know where we at, though. Nigga said, "Gotta let them know, know where we at." Oh, yeah, yeah. it's the vibe. Yes, it is. Yeah, they. Yeah, they. Yeah, they. Yeah, they. Yeah, they. Be so Your listen. favorite memory. The favorite memory of my ex was fucking. Cause you know, after a nigga okay, left, you just I'm, talk, talking, I'm talking. No, I'm talking Ohio. <laughs> you just want. Yeah, you are going to talk so to uh, little fish. I'm not. But I'm about to go. I'm not about to go into very much detail, bro. But no, let's just you say, have to, bro. No, you cannot tell that story. I don't want to. Bro. I don't want to go into oh mad God. detail, bro. But I'm gonna tell y'all this. I met a chick. I started fucking with her, right? Not knowing that this bitch was a Capricorn. You understand? Ooh. On top of that, she was crazy, bro. I don't know. If y'all are fucking with a Capricorn, go wake her up right now and tell her you don't want to be with her no more. This shit is over with. Because at the end of the day, you are going to be fucked up in the game. So, I met that this chick. Me. Dang. This chick so happened to like chicks, right? So, I, she had a girlfriend mistakes. that she thought I, I wasn't going to be involved with, too. Because I guess the girlfriend didn't really want to fuck with dudes. So I said, so you got to get rid of her too. That's selfish as fuck. You're not about to be fucking with a girl and I can't fuck with her with you. Got rid of the girl. So one day, she wakes me up. What bitch you got calling my phone? Huh? Bitch calling my phone, playing on it, hanging up. Talking about I was with your boyfriend, this, this. I said, listen, man, number one, if I was fucking with another chick, she wouldn't get your number to call you. Make that make sense. She got to have my phone to do that. Ain't no, you not touching my phone. You think I'm going to let another bitch touch your phone? Number two, don't wake me up with this dumb shit no more. Because it's going to be a problem. You hear me? So I go back to sleep. She get to asking questions. Like, oh, you don't, you ain't going to say nothing? You ain't going to listen to me? You ain't going to, all right, bet. She leave. You go downstairs. I hear the front door open. Next thing you know, I hear, oh, motherfucker, you ain't going to answer me. You going to answer me today. So I get up, I look out the window. She out there busting the windows out to the truck and the car. Headlights, back windows, windshields, everything. So she fucking this car up. Now, mind you, I'm on an electronic monitor, meaning I got one of them garage openers on my ankle, you hear me? So I can't even leave the house, number one. You feel That's what I'm saying? So she tearing my shit up. So I'm like, okay. It ain't like I could just get out and leave. I'm going to get in trouble if I do that. So I wait until the daylight break where I can... Please. Grab both of my busted ass cars. I had somebody come pick it up, the other one up, and I leave, right? So I leave her automatically off of that because I'm scared, number one. Like, bitch, you just busted out all these windows. You don't know that I'm really on that type of, like, I'm really on. Anyways, I leave her, though. Not, this was my house. That's the fucked up part. This was my house. But anyways, I leave her at my house and shit. She paying. She just bullied me now that I think about this shit, bro. I get the fuck on, bro. So I'm still fucking with her though. 
So she just toxic every step of the way, bro. She lose her car, ask to see my car. I give her a letter of on my car. She gonna tell me she ain't giving me shit back, bitch. This her car. So, damn. <laughs> okay, now I gotta feel like a bitch because I gotta so. call the police. You feel me? Hey, officer, she just took my car. I need it back. She going to police. I swear to God, I'm outside, bro. She called the police on me. I'm outside, bro. The police going to the house to try to. I told her what happened. Like she got my car keys. Cause I just want my car keys and I leave right now. Police like, all right, we about to go in there talk to her. Don't worry about this, Mister. We got this shit under control. They, they come out the house. house bro. Get ya. They come back out seven minutes later. Like, man, that bitch crazy. You better leave. <laughs> Like, you better not ever, bro. Uh, My uh, advice to you is get a tow truck to come tow this motherfucker away, bro. And don't ever go around her again, bro. Because she is crazy, bro. Police were scared of her. At this point, I got really scared. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm riding with her one day. I'm telling her directions. Like, listen, if you go this way, you'll get there faster. She tell me, I know where the fuck I'm going, ho ass nigga. Don't tell me what the fuck to do. Damn, she was on one. So, and, I'm thinking like, damn, this bitch always want to test me. I'm not even going to say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to swallow that, and it is what it is. We get to where we going and shit. She pull over. Say something like, you always trying to do this, do this. I'm like, listen, nobody want to hear that shit. Man, I'll get up out this motherfucker and, um, and walk. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, who the fuck breathing in the phone? Real shit. Who the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, bro. Hey, y'all got to me. That's no, that's uh, folks now. That ain't me, bro. That's me. Yeah. Me. Watch this. That's folks and them's mic. Yeah, I seen it. They got a fan blown on. You got me. a fan over there, bro? Hold on, let me unmute you. Oh no, you muted it yourself. But anyways, she stepped oh, no, on me again. <laughs> I get out the car and walk. I'm like, listen, I ain't about to put up with this. Why, when I get to the corner, she tried to run me over with her car. <laughs> so I, I take off. I go the other way. She hop out with the pepper spray. All that, trying to spray me all in the face. Talking about, get your bitch ass in the car. You ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? I just had to build up enough strength and courage to be like, I ain't fucking with you no more. She had me shook. I ain't fucked with a Capricorn every since. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. First of all, it's two uh, type of Capricorns, bro. Right, so don't do it like that. No, first of all, yeah. First of all, first of all, no, they not. Y'all just a little big bunch of weak bitches. Calm down. See what I'm saying? Oh, See what I'm saying? Nah, 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 damn. Damn. That's a perfect example of what I was going through right there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it's because it's two different types. There is some crazy ass Capricorns. I will say that they lost. Literally, it's it's Girl, like literally it's a border. It's a borderline. Between them being sane and them motherfuckers going off the deep end, he had one well, that Florida lost a couple Capricorn, screws. Capricorn, it depends. It, de it depends on which Capricorn you get. Sometimes you get them real it's cool good. ones, and then sometimes you get them uh, ones that be belong in the I'm asylum. You a Capricorn, you talking about the January, I am a Capricorn. Bro. Yeah, that's why you going to lie. I am January, so yeah, I'm January. Just like I lie for Gemini's and say we ain't got two diamonds. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, my mama January Capricorn. Oh, she was but, December. Mm -hmm. She was like. Christmas, Let me tell you what. Christmas, say, Christmas is a little different. Yeah. Hey, what was y'all favorite sign to do? Hey, reason you got to turn your camera on. And then the reason why the January Capricorns are so fucked up in here like that is because they real close to them Aquarius, D. Yeah. First of all, the Aquarius cool as fuck. Y'all motherfuckers just be doing too much, bro. My sister, my sister, hey, my sister hey, doing doing my your camera, Trey. I don't know nothing about huh? this shit because it's big Leo game over here. wrong with my camera. You know all I, I know, know is y'all can't say nothing about Tori. I ran outside real quick. Y'all look crazy, bro. I They say we... Leo gang over here, though. I don't, I don't know. know. Taurus no, men a little different, they, bro. They, they say nothing about the Taurus, but they but we stubborn. That's it, right. it, it, that's it took what, it took me Mike one time. Hey, Miss Reezy. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Reezy? Hey, what's up, hey, guys? Hey, Reezy. Oh, what's hey, going? What was your favorite song? Said that. Hey, Miss Reezy. Miss Reezy, I don't know if you know where we at. Hey, but we in the motherfucker. Oh shit! It's the vibe family. Uh, you know what? Yeah, dang. I know we in the motherfucking vibe channel. From top to bottom, what was y'all favorite song to do with? What was y'all favorite Terry. song? Who, who y'all think y'all compatible with? 
Sagittarius. None. I'm already knowing I'm compatible with a Taurus. Okay, now. Okay, now. <laughs> Look at you? twin. What about Man, you? Go ahead, Jazz. You got, got me mama crying, mama. crying, bro. <laughs> Seti, what's your, what's your, who you think you're compatible with? What sign? I ain't never had a favorite <laughs> sign. They were all bad. They, oh, shit, you just. Hey, that that means it's that mean him. That means it's him. I don't know. Nah, they just. That. They all Seti, what's your is what's your sign? Oh no, I'm, you I'm, have, I'm, I'm a Sagittarius. A woman, Sagittarius. And whoever said they favors, uh, nah, no, a, a mermaid, the arrow shit. Mermaid. Well, I see. Say arrow. <laughs> it's an arrow. Yeah. Uh, what you call it? Like. Whoever said whoever said they like Sagittarius? My the last girl I fucked with that was a Sagittarius. I ended up in jail. They tell my arrows so. on top. The Sagittarius? You can't date your own sign, yeah. gang. Huh? You can't date your own sign, gang. That's just some shit. Yeah, that shit was that horrible. Have I ever dated it's my own all sign? Leo, man. Yeah, I couldn't fuck with a Gemini female. I ain't gonna lie. Leo's. It's all Leo. I don't know y'all what y'all, fuck y'all with talking no about. Gemini. Nah, Gemini Leo. female. I couldn't jump with fucking no Gemini female, no. Oh, okay. So it same, depends, it depends on my mindset yeah. in different points in time. Like, Leo. every all sign Leo. you can... <gasps> every sign can be fucked with, bro, in my opinion. My favorite Leo. sign to deal it's, with was a Virgo. Leo. My favorite, I ain't gonna say deal with like the the, yeah, the best. The sign that t- treated me the best is a Virgo. I should have actually some lying here. That's the sign that treat the Virgo. Virgos is some lying. Right, Leo. Yeah, the Leos is cool too, but the Virgos. Hold on, bro. Savion showing us his light skin neck. What you doing? Yeah. What the fuck uh, is that? That's it, man. That's the best sign right there, what man. What sign is that? Let me see, man. Let me see your neck. It's Leo. We don't the best. That's a Sagittarius. It's Leo. Sign. It's a Sagittarius. It's Leo. Are you a Sagittarius it's too? Everybody know it's there Leo is. gang because we the Leo. We the let's, leaders. Let's not. Let's not. We life like Gemini's not the we most intellectual out here. We just Gemini on top for sure. So I don't. We on Leo's top. Let's, let's not like we the most intellectual guys. How we Yeah. Hoes and they selfish. I don't know a Leo that's not selfish and a hoe. I'm not right. selfish. You, hey, you not lying. Right. Lurch got a lot right. of bitches, bro. He don't want to share none of them. <laughs> wow. I wish I did. That shit is bro. <laughs> all right. If I got to be all the way honest with you, a Gemini is the worst Big fucking story. What you talking about? What? Big story. How we messed it? We I ain't gonna lie, man. We the yeah, most. You talking about female Geminis, right? right? Gemini. He Gemini. better be talking about female Gemini if he's not something. We gotta Listen. have a conversation. Hey, hey, no, hey, it's, it's, I don't know what you got attracted to y'all. Nah, bro, because hey. I got a sister that's a Gemini, and I had a nigga that I love to death that was a Gemini. Gemini's it's so just not. it's something about, the, it's about it's about the you. It's something like the imbalance with the universe, bro. The universe really be fucking with yeah. Gemini's, and shit just be attracted. To them, like I'll be like, damn, you no got bullshit. my G, like you good, like are you really good, like I'm over here blessing the air, like y'all got some type of luck, bro, like it be, no I'm bullshit. like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> man, oh man, like, my sister, like, like for one time, my sister got hit by a damn car like twice while she was on her motorcycle because motherfuckers couldn't even drive and she got out that shit like unscathed. And I'm like, the fuck, like are you good, like. I'd be like, yeah. Us, it's, it's the universe, bro. It's some bullshit God going on. Us, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie with me. Hey, sell Nine K though. All them Scorpios, like, okay. motherfuckers, boy. Them Scorpios is the most toxic ass motherfuckers. They only like meant to repopulate the population. I'm sorry to tell y'all, bro. Scorpios are horrible. Man. I ain't saying they're horrible, but they meant to repopulate. Nah, they they horrible, dog. They horrible. Scorpios need to be. Hey. All they do is lie. They yeah. lie like a motherfucker. Us Leos, we the life of the party. That's why I'm a DJ. Duh. Leos are horrible. Yo. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Damn, no. Don't do I'm, that. I'm, I'm not. not. Listen, listen. I'm going to keep a fuck. I'm so keep everybody fuck. loves Pisces? No. I'm a Pisces. No. No. I don't oh, know no. 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 What month is Pisces? I never dealt with a Pisces. Gemini. February. February and March. Listen. Yeah, I don't, I don't I ain't y'all go under the radar, though. Y'all I ain't gonna lie. I'm always most drawn to and most attracted to Pisces. They are so full of shit. Are... <laughs> full of shit. They full wow. of 
it like a motherfucker. But I, I've dealt with more Pisces than any other sign ever. Yeah, Muffin, why you got that tight ass shirt on over there? You bro? just gotta get the right Pisces. Wow. Muffin <laughs> over there tripping with that tight ass pink shirt on, bro. She ain't even here. No, she got her mouth open just on the stream. She texts it. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> hey, he over here talking him. about muffin hey. shirt and shit. Yeah, tell him to get his hands out his pants, number one. I don't know two. what Leo's y'all <laughs> fucking with, <laughs> bro. And you know what? No Leo in August. You know what sign really makes <laughs> that me? That nigga gotta be a Leo in August 23rd or some shit. No, that nigga Aquarius. I am an Aquarius. The sign that really make me the most sick out of every other sign is Libra's. Libra's Aquarius. Dumbest. That's the worst. Yeah, I don't sign, like them neither. Libra's is just toxic um, as fuck. Virgos Libra's is toxic as fuck. Dumb. Nah, whoa, Virgos, whoa, 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 Virgos whoa. is cool. Like Virgos is Ooh, fun Virgos, as fuck, Virgos, but y'all toxic cool. as shit. Y'all evil. Virgos yeah. is evil. Like, Look, yeah. I fuck with y'all. I love Virgos, but y'all evil. Y'all some we evil bastards. Evil as fuck. Evil. Y'all are like y'all lit as fuck, but y'all evil, bro. I don't know what it is. Y'all lit as fuck, but y'all evil. I ain't that from a Virgo. I ain't experienced like the evil side. Bro, I'm telling you, Mister Nine K. I don't know what it is, but it's just like damn, they awesome, but they evil. I don't know. We like they get too damn Leo's much. Y'all fucking with, bro? They gotta be some motherfucking Virgos or something. Y'all need to get some Tauruses in y'all life. That's all I'm saying. Nah, last time I dealt with, I was like, yeah. Horse? Uh, mm -mm. Uh, oh, horse. Hey, a horse. That nigga must have been a oh, Taurus from bad. May. I that nigga must have been a Taurus from May 16 or something. I love Taurus. May 16th, <laughs> the best Taurus you could ever have. What you talking about? Between I seven love, and nine. I, I love Taurus, but you can't deal with Taurus for real. They never, they never really, they not, they don't really want shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they is. Horses are cool from a distance. They cool to come visit. They like cool they not, they yeah. not. I fuck yeah. with tourists. It's like when it come to visiting, but like trying to be with a motherfucker tourist. They they play my little stupid ass. I tried that shit. No, so so uh, 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 hey. hey. oh my damn, god, damn. <laughs> bro, what tourists y'all been fucking with? Oh, man, bro, have you out here? Man. I had to block the motherfucker because it got too. Yeah, motherfucker got tourists. Be crossing the line. Y'all be crossing the line. Listen, listen. Y'all be crossing the line. Next question. One mic. One mic. One mic. No, I got the next question. 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 It's from Irisha, and it says, "Now, will, will Benzi date an eighteen-year-old?" Nah, fuck no. Didn't we go through Why these kids things? want? Why these kids want me? Well, we answered that already. I thought, like, I thought the boy from he did, he's there. He's Kids want. Why these kids? So want he me? put the question in. There. He had to put the question in again because it's from the twenty eighth. Nah, love, we gonna keep it all the way gutter. We gonna keep it all the way gutter. You know why these kids want you? No. We, <laughs> we're we're trying, to get, we're trying to get breastfed. Yeah. Hey, Hell put no. that shit on the floor. Not nah, breastfed. Let me. Ask you that shit on the floor. Oh my god. All right, listen. August asks, "What does a woman have to provide for you in order to stay if her pussy garbage?" Oh, Every man. Money. Every fucking thing. What the fuck? Money. Man, I ain't gonna lie. That you might as well just leave. When you, when you need peace of mind. Oh, you you don't have have a a box don't even Man, he gonna, fuck he he gonna have a side bitch. He gonna have a side bitch. No, he's gonna have a side bitch. No, he gonna have a side bitch and she gonna deal with it. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, or you leave. You gonna tell me, you gonna tell me if this lady bring you peace, convenient, blessing you, show you crazy love, like you worry about this box. You can't. In order for me to stay, she gotta have one. Ask me this. If she provide you peace of mind, Oof. So you all the love that you need, convenient, doing all you need. Like you worried about that pussy, bro. Yes, Wilder, man. yes. <laughs> yes. I can get that from the next person. Bro, Amy Wilder, bro. Just name some shit somebody else can give me, bro. All you did, that nigga, nigga said, "How garbage we talking?" <laughs> all, that nigga, all that nigga did just now, all Trey did. Let's talk about a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. The question is though, is y'all gonna cheat? How often do y'all run into garbage pussy though? Niggas don't like be how garbage especially is. motherfuckers don't, don't be getting none. They think everything Yeah, good. like, how often do y'all run into garbage pussy, though? Like, Man, like, listen, bro, like how garbage you gotta be? It's ways to make that listen. Nope. Even garbage pussy doesn't good pussy at one if point. If it's the Sahara Desert, how you gonna make it? Come on, bro. You fucking up you your stuff. You getting like carpet burned. See, I didn't dealt with motherfuckers like that because they just, I was just not attracted to them. It was like something they did right before we got to doing the thing, and I was just like, oh, I'm turned off. You turned me off. Like, question is, certain niggas, 
Some niggas just do. Are y'all going to cheat though? If it's, if he got trash, hey. are y'all going to cheat? Nigga, I wouldn't. We wouldn't even be in a relationship. Yeah. We wouldn't even hey. be in a relationship. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. if you're sick, you're all the way there, honey. Okay. I'm calling y'all niggas out. Y'all need to learn how to eat pussy right. What? Who the fuck you calling out then? Because you ain't Whoa. calling me. <laughs> how do you know? Are you talking to me, bro? <laughs> learn how to eat pussy right. Don't be trying to eat that ass and eat the pussy at the same time unless you on that freaky shit. You're supposed to eat them at the same Never mind. We'll, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out if y'all niggas know better about pH. question is, are y'all going to cheat? Trey, you going to cheat? If, 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 if the box what? garbage... Am I gonna cheat? Yeah, at the box garbage. No, I don't know. I mean, at this point in time, at this point in time in my life, Rosie. Not, I'm gonna tell her the box garbage. I'm not gonna be with her. But Keep before I would, I would have been gonna be together. Pull the but like, yeah. if I have to be with you, I probably will cheat on you. Okay. Damn. Pull up on me. What is that in your face, bro? On the thing. Nowadays, I'm not gonna be with something. I'm gonna cheat on. Do me a favor, bro. Get that out the camera. We can't be. You know what I mean? Question. What is that? I have a question. Is it cheating if the person the knows? Hold on, hold on. No. What you say, Rosie? No. But is is it really cheating if the person knows? You might no, not like not. it, but I told you I'm gonna do this. You can no, leave or not. you can stay, and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do either way. At that point, you just you just punked him. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that ain't cheating. Yeah, like you boy. Yeah, at know. this point, what he gonna do is go get one of your little cousins or something and buy her. <laughs> you treat them like that. <laughs> but your cousins won't treat me right, so I got fucked with you. What? Just to hurt your feelings. That won't work if my cousins wasn't scared of me. <laughs> you look like you're scared Jeez. of your cousins. <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Like, y'all don't be seeing her facial expressions change rapidly. You hear me? She be sitting there smiling yeah, like not, this. He's smart when you said that. He know you ain't cheating. Be smiling like this. They be like, motherfucker, what the fuck did I just. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm decorating. <laughs> Bitch, you don't see me on RPO. Hold on, is my nigga still on? That's right. Are you cheating if it's garbage, bro? I don't believe in, I don't believe in cheating, bro. Black men don't cheat. I was just waiting on somebody else to say it. Black men don't cheat. I just got all y'all women to admit that y'all was gonna cheat, bro. Not once did a man say that they was gonna cheat on here, bro. Facts. Black you know what black men do? do? They, they lie. lie. That's what they do. They lie. And y'all awesome liars. So y'all be cheating on lie, good pussy. Y'all definitely cheating on trash pussy. You awesome liars. I'm nah, I'm leaving that. Y'all be lying. Y'all right? cheat y'all on good pussy. Lie. Why would you cheat here on trash pussy? Y'all gonna be my shorty if you're too pussy trash. So you saying niggas cheat good? Niggas cheat on good pussy? You can have good pussy. Beyonce get cheated on. J Lo get cheated on. No matter what you got, get cheated on. Rosie, excuse me. Niggas be sleeping with the ops. I niggas be sleeping with the ops. Hey, niggas be sleeping with the ops. It ain't a female alive that's gonna actually say my shit trash every female right. think they shit good no matter right. how, no matter if it smell like sardines and it dry it like you can do some look until there. until you got niggas telling you back to back they should have got you pregnant and motherfuckers blowing your line up talking about when you gonna let me be your baby mama and everything then i don't know the See, that's like hey, bro, I don't if niggas waiting three years for you to get out of a relationship then i mean i i don't know i i, I don't know what the sign is hold on, hold on, i call that dedication baby. Can I get? Hey, bro, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to get this part of the game up, but can I give it up? Go ahead. Don't get that shit up, gang. Look, then, I I, nah, then y'all think, then y'all think I'm gonna let you come back. Then y'all think I'm gonna let you come back. Nah, I'm gonna just say this because Jesse said, said that. <laughs> just in case, uh, if a nigga waiting for you three years to get out of a relationship, then I don't, man, a nigga love a chase. Don't never get that. I know niggas love a chase. That's why I love a nigga chase. Cause I don't get you. Look, bless, you look, when I bless, look, look, bro. If I ever bless you, bro, you gonna ever, you gonna be forever chasing, bro. I know what, like, bro. I know how nigga what time it is. Like, I don't, I don't take this nigga serious no more. Well, I, I, I'm gonna keep it all the way. Gotta look. I Self face, got it. I just one time. Look at Juan. Look at Juan. Juan four one six. Why not? Every time you post, nigga make a comment or something. Cookie. 
Yeah, we will want no uh four one six set. He said the only reason we cheat on uh good cookie because we think you deserve it. Hold your crowns. What? You said hold your crown, Queen. Hold your crown. Oh, it's a compliment. Sure. He's trying to say it's a compliment when you cheat. I ain't fucking with him, dog. It's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is crazy. I got that one. I ain't playing with motherfucking sons no more. I'm cool. That nigga said, I'm a runner. I'm a track star. Don't worry. Hey, look, look. If you want to go to the streets, I'm letting you go to the streets. But, baby, if you see me on the block, don't worry about me. Yeah, don't don't be trying to, like, you act like uh, you bro, don't. I don't, like you no, don't, I don't know you. Nigga, I'm going to pretend I don't know you. Nigga, I'm going to yeah. walk right past you. Of course. The fuck you you now, listen. If he, really, <laughs> if he really play it, he'll do the same thing. You feel what nigga, I'm saying? It'd have been situations nigga. when nigga done pulled up with chicks. I done popped. They be, I don't even say nothing. I'll be like, what's up, bro? You good? Oh, this is my friend. Oh, hey, how you doing, Brittany? Like, I don't even know her. You hear me? And then just finish smacking that bitch. Like, two at the ago. end of the day, it ain't nobody business. You feel me? Niggas better be careful who y'all fuck with. But long story short, black women cheat. <laughs> black men don't. That's an attack that's women's fucking, podcast. We all have some crowd babies. Yeah. We just proved this. No, then we ain't attacking uh, no women. We love y'all. We couldn't do this shit without y'all. Crowd baby ass. What up, my cool? At all. Backbones. Don't ever get it fucked We're up. Attacking we attacking the fuck on Okay, let me see. Backbones. Okay, at this point in your life, who you rely on the most? Family or friends? That's a good question. I like that. Oh. That's from the um, DJ Big Lurch. Happy birthday, my nigga. Who do you yes, rely on most? Know. Family or friends? All right, one mic. Myself. You got to do one mic say, for Rizzy? that. Neither. I said myself. Why is that? Because sometimes your family's not always going to agree or be behind you. Like, you know how family is, especially certain who cultures. Think, who do you think is there who got your back the most? Your family or your friends? Myself. But no th- one's going to be there. Not, I understand that, but we talking about family and friends. I understand yourself. I understand your mentality. You done been through some things. Right. Like you just saying that right there. Right. Let me know that you didn't experience some shit that got you scarred. Shut up, Sam. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. um, I'm going to say friends. Okay. Let me tell you this. Short term, I'm talking friends. Long term, I'm talking family. But if I'm around you. I don't view nobody who around me that I get in tune with as nothing but family. Hey, Even Rick, good looking on the gift, okay? I tap in with them like <laughs> niggas around me, they view it as family to me too. Like it's hard for me not to view them. Oh. I don't let too many motherfuckers in that close to be like, oh, that's my friend. So they around me, that's family. Like, okay. so it's like, it's kind of hard for me to like determine that because nigga, I look at niggas like, nigga, that's, I mean, that's, that's family. Like, I can't, so I can't. Okay. Seti, family or friends, Man. bro? Who can you rely on the most? Friends. Oh. Okay. What about you, Rosie? Friends. My nigga Bot, what's popping? What's good, my nigga? Who you, who you feeling like? Family or friends that you can rely on the most? That's a hard question. Um... I guess friends, because family fuck you over fast. I mean, Shit, sir. Fuck you, you got too, a different but it'd be your family. I need to change my answer. Go ahead. I need to change my answer. Go ahead. I depends on my mama more than anybody. Yeah. My mama's my biggest fucking rider. Like she holds it down more than anybody I know. Yeah. But immediately after her is all my friends. Okay. And then my family. <laughs> okay. All right. But like my mom's is yeah, she's it. I'm ain't gonna lie, I can understand that, Rosa, because man, that's your mom. She care you about nine months. She know everything that you, that you going through. Yeah, she know the shit she go, you going through. But the motherfucking family, though, oh fuck no, they can care less about you if you not their son or their daughter. They don't give doing a fuck something about for you. them. Got some mm-hmm. kind of benefit. Got to do something for them. Save you on. Yeah, yeah, I monetary yeah. game. Y'all say, are y'all saying that because? I feel like. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. No, you go ahead first, cause I, I I'm just going... know if y'all saying that because like family not just jumping into everything, like super indulging into what you want to do and fully supporting it without questioning it. Or no, not at all. Be... Now I'm just asking. I don't know. Like what I'm saying doing. that personally because I've had my family turn their backs faster 
than when I needed anybody else. And my friends was the ones oh. who made sure I was good, who made sure I was okay, who took care of a nigga. Like, family be real quick to turn their back on you until later down the line. Like, oh, I fucked up. Let me make it right now when I don't need you no more. Family be the ones to turn their back on you and come back later. But your friends, the people you choose to be around you on a daily basis, the people that choose to fuck with you the way they fuck with you, they're they more rock you different. They're holding shit down, man. So Because, to be real, your friends probably going through that same exact shit as you going through. But that's so they that understand. Means. But that's what I'm saying. Like, is it because you, you feel like... But, Honestly, we connect with our friends different because we talk to them on a daily basis. We don't talk to our family the same way that we talk to our friends. Thank you. That's that's no, something. I'm, I'm talking from my that's experience. I'm talking that's about family I've lived with, immediate family. Nah, even like, the family I live with. I I'm talking about immediate family. Yeah. I've had friends that's more crib. understanding than the immediate family, bro. Yeah, it was 15 of us in the crib. I still didn't talk to, like, outside, outside shit. This is a fact. There's 15 of us in the house. I that grew up my, co- my cousin. My cousins like my my cousins like my brothers. My cousins like my yeah. sisters. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying so. It's like I still didn't talk to them the way I talk to my friends. Like they still didn't experience the shit. I they my me and my. Are you friends trying to talk to me? Like you know what I'm saying because I didn't feel like it was in the house. I'm a joke. So I'm playing outside. You can't certain shit. You certain emotions you can't show. Certain shit you can't show. So. It's two different sides and shit. So that's why I ask, like, are you saying that because you pour more into your friends than you did your family? Or is it because that's really how you feel? Because sometimes it's because we pour more into our friends than our family, and that's why we feel like that. And the reason why we pour more more in our friends than our family because our family will use that shit against us when it's an argument. But shit, man, mm-hmm. you ever had a friend cross you? You ever had a friend cross you, though, my nigga? I had a friend cross me, but they never used it for that shit towards me because they know that's a sensitive topic, and they also going through the same thing. Because if you want to use that shit against me, I can use that shit against you if we really, if we really want to argue. Y'all really, in my, but in my, my family gonna use that shit against you because they know that shit. Hurts. In my opinion, y'all really looking at that shit from the wrong standpoint. In reality, y'all looking at how 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 y'all how bad y'all family did y'all. And never really looking at all the friends that y'all done lost as y'all done came. But in reality, any friend that you feel like you can rely on in that way, that's your family regardless. So it's always going to be first, you feel me? Because I know. I know true that. that. True that. True that. You ain't got a lot to show. My nigga C's call me for anything. You feel me? I wake up out to my feet and answer the phone like, what's the deal, bro? Woo, woo, woo. He like, nigga, put your boots on. Woo, woo, woo. All right, bet. Woo, woo, woo. That's, my, that's my best friend. That's a friend I didn't have. Since nigga, I was 13 years old and nigga 24. But the thing is, like, nigga, when he called me, he be like, bro, my bad. Whoop. I say, nigga, you my family. You feel me? I know for a fact, nigga, I call you. If anything, my little brother in here having a seizure, I need you to come right now. You feel me? I tell him, well, oh, I don't got that thing on me. You are here. You feel me? That's my family. You are here. That's, okay, that's my this best. My, that's my aspect that's, on the situation. That's family, nigga. Like, I feel like your family attests you the most. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, like your friend know you more because this the person that you hang out with the most. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they know, like, but I feel like your family be the ones that test you the most or try to do mm-hmm. something dirty with you because they know, like, damn, we family. What are you gonna do? Hurt me really bad? Like, I'm, is he really gonna know, know, like, I'm, or is he gonna take that shit My family, my circle different. Come later on, me and my family. And be like, you know, I don't fuck with too many of my family members. I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't love them, but it's just I don't know. Like, they're I not just, dependable. Me and my, my circle like, like different. Like I can't, I can't speak on that. Like because coming up, it was just me and, and family. It was family oh, versus man. everybody. Like fact. that was just that was the code. And as older as I got, you know, yeah, younger, I didn't have friends because, like I said, my, these kids savage out here, man. So growing up, I didn't grow up with friends. I didn't get friends until I was grown as fuck out here, like really in the streets and shit because. Like that shit different when you young as fuck. My my first friends was my cousins. Somebody was having a birthday party, bro. Oh my nigga got the up for the birthday. Happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
Happy 58th birthday, Big Lurk. <laughs> 58. <laughs> I, I wish I had another bottle, bro. Y'all, y'all that boy is 72 years old. Everybody's fam, happy birthday, oh. Big Lurk. Oh, Tell the chat, fam, happy birthday. I'm 31, not 69. That's how much. I'm 31, not 69. Oh, you feel young, bro. Man, get the happy fuck up. Birthday. Thirty one oh, anyway. Oh, oh. I'm mad. I forgot you twenty one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Twenty as fuck. The fuck my water. Twenty one like oh. a motherfucker. Happy birthday, my dog. Another. Th- I ain't gonna lie. I'm fucked up, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. You drunk the whole bottle already? Man, that shit gone. Get the fuck out of here. Damn. Yeah, bro. Every question he took a chug. And it wasn't no. Hold on, hold on. They got my. Oh, they got my. They got my gunman on there though. They got my. I ain't fucked it. I ain't worried about my girl. My nigga Jonathan. <laughs> What's your real name? It's Jonathan? Big, they got that big Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Big Johnny. Big Johnny. DJ Johnny. Uh, DJ Johnny. Got on the DJ fuck. Johnny. If it's vanilla cake, let me get a piece, bro. I ain't y'all know my motherfucking girlfriend name. Let me get a piece hey, of that. Y'all cake. play with you. About. Hey, Larry. He said, he said, he said, what up? He said, I keep that Larry. vibe. Me. Big bad room shit. Play huh? play no host shit. No host shit. Well, that's beautiful, bro. Do me a favor, bring, bring me a piece of cake and bring that shit to Houston next weekend. I Man, ain't that bro. shit ain't gonna even last. Well, I gotta put it in the freezer, though. Bring that shit to Houston next weekend. Appreciate you. I gotta do a, bir- I gotta do a birthday re-over, do-over, because I want a birthday cake with some candles on that bitch, bro. I'm feeling Man, my birthday was so motherfucking lit, dog. I just but had we that restaurant lit. shit. They came out hey. with a little sparkler on it. Uh, yeah. But we gotta uh, let Chad know good. where the fuck we at, though. We gotta let Chad know where we at. Where we yeah. at, Lurch? Where we at? Oh, it's the vibe. Yes, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, day. All right, next question. I'm drunk. I ain't supposed to play that twice, though. Next question, though, gang. Next question. Let me see. Who drive better, men or women? Women. Next question. Mm. Um, <laughs> who do you think? What do you think of the council culture? Don't know what the fuck you talking about. Okay, yeah. what's something in life you wish you could have done better or did a different way? Oh, get married. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm let y'all talk about that first. I'm, what you mean, get married? Why you say that? Last question. I got last answer. On that. I think cool. I wasted it on the wrong person. Right now. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. She need counsel- She need counseling. Then. <laughs> I don't Wait, need what? counseling. I'm just saying, sometimes you can make the wrong choice. Where's he Just Because we don't want them to hear you. We don't want them to hear that. The nigga go outside your head. That like nigga that. is in New York. I'm in no, Florida. Look, look. This Why is, is he in New York, place. though? Just last what week you said I left him. With you, nigga. Oh. oh, you married, but y'all separated. Mm-hmm. All right, Sadie, you can shoot your shot now then, bro. Go ahead and do your yeah. thing, gang. I heard what you said. Don't <laughs> have to say that. Do what you got to do, gang. <laughs> <laughs> what you got to do, gang. With the text that you sent me, bro, you just answered all that. <laughs> no, I, feel like, I feel like at a younger age, I could have treated people better, like how I treat people now. But now I think I overcompensate because of the shit that I did at a younger age, like the wrongdoings that I did at a younger age. I feel like... I treat people too good now. The people that don't need to be treated that good because I of the feel the exact opposite. In the early, I ain't stages, gonna lie. Early that's stages, fine. like because I was fine shit with me, Trey, I was, but listen, I wish I would have did better in football, though. That's all. I was a, oh, that too, nigga. I was a, nigga. Sports was my life, oh nigga. My I just didn't give a fuck. That's what, what, what. what about you, Dennis? What you? What is something you feel like you could have done better? Um. Chose better friends, not even gonna hold you. Cause some of the people Where you from, are Dennis? New York. That nigga the East Coast nigga. He's an East Coast. New York, what, like what part? You from Brooklyn? That boy said he's from bitch. I was, I was born that's in that. Brooklyn, but uh I live in Queens right now. Okay, you from Queens. I never that's been back to Queens. record city. Shit, y'all come out here, I'm gonna show y'all a good time. All right, bet, bet, bet. What you, what you gonna show us? Like y'all got strip clubs out there? I know all the spots, don't you worry. You know all the spots, even after hours? Even after hours, even the ones you gotta knock so they let you in. All right, bet, bet, bet. When I come to Queens, we're gonna turn up then. I'm on that type of time. I'm coming with a whole lot of ones. Rizzy, what about you? What is something? Nah, nah, we throw pennies in there. You gotta <laughs> get there. I'm not coming to Queens, bro. <laughs> um, Rizzy, <laughs> something that you regret or you feel like you could wish you would have did different? Definitely 
two things. I would have definitely started streaming way earlier. And two, I would definitely went to nail school and stopped bullshitting with like the bullshit jobs because if I was a nail tech, like my early 20s, I would have been so much farther than I am right now. I feel like I started late. You feel me? Ain't nothing too late. late. Ain't Maybe late. never too late. Too yeah. late. Wait, watch it. Yo, Chris, you too young to be known as Pops, hey, My gang. bad, my bad. That was Reezy answered that question. That was Reezy <laughs> said that question. Said yeah, she started really. too late. You never started too late because you never and know. Like, one video probably be that one. Or uh, whatever you doing probably be that one that, that'll blow you. So don't never say you started too late. I told Big Lurch that shit not too long ago. I said, nigga, you better promote that DJ shit. Nigga. Let's get it. Because I'm saying like this, you got rappers that started in their 30s. And them niggas been rapping all they That's life. That's true. Okay. Look at 2 chains. all That's ass. true. Jazzy. Um, Something that you uh, wish you could have do over. Could have done better. Mmm. Daquiri got a hold of you, huh? It do. It do got a hold of you. That's fucking flabbing, ain't it? Go busy. Talk to me. <laughs> uh, I think I would have... I wish I wouldn't have showed too much love to people. Okay. Oh. Spread, you feel like you spread it yourself too thin? Of course. I, I tell you why you never want to feel like that. Because it's like you... People don't understand. Like, there are people out here that would literally... I don't judge you until you give me a reason to not fuck with you. Like, I'm not that type of person to just hold you up because motherfuckers make mistakes. Motherfuckers say the wrong shit. People be in the wrong places at the wrong times. Everybody get caught lacking. People don't understand. Motherfuckers is human. Ain't one motherfucker in this room that can tell me that they ain't got caught lacking doing some shit or been folded sometime at one point in their life. And if you do, you a motherfucking liar. Okay. And that's why I can't fuck with you. You a liar. At that point, you done proved to me two times why I can't fuck with you. You feel me? So it's like people take people take that that love for granted because they feel like they don't get it from everybody, and they don't understand that love is is so scarce out here. It's like it's 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 dying off because everybody becomes so selfish. Like I just said the other day, the city I live in is selfish as fuck. It was an ambulance trying to get by and fire trucks fire trucks trying to get by. Motherfuckers weren't even pulling over, bro. Like. It's, it's, I'm like, man, I can't be around motherfuckers like that. It's sad. It's sad. Like, you you got so much, I got so much love for the world, but I can't even spread the love because it's, it's sad out here, bro. Real talk. Okay. What I say, was that you at one point, though? Spreading that love and showing that love? That was you, right? Of course it was. Because I just wanted the people that was around me. I wanted the people that was around me. The people don't understand if you're going to be around me 24-7, if you're going to be talking to me, if you're going to be expelling your oxygen in my direction, I want you to be 100 and feel good and be awesome, bro. Like I don't need that negativity around me because it takes everything for me to wake up every fucking day and be positive. Like People don't understand where all it takes is that one time for me to just go somewhere and just jump the fuck off a cliff. Like People don't understand that. So I put my best foot forward and I show love to everybody because if I can't show love the way I want to show love I, why why can I like how can I live right. that's why I feel like you should never feel like you should regret it for being you because you could never change you like you check you feeling like fuck that like I shouldn't have showed them that much nah because maybe the blessings you got right now came from you showing that love it's exactly what happened we didn't talk blessings, you, you done showed them that love you felt like damn they fucked me up the whole time fuck what they did so it wasn't supposed to be there anyway. The universe done, done snatched you up like, yo, this is what she doing because she done showed that motherfucker love over there. Me and Brody had a conversation about this shit the other day, and, and, and I really just want to say something to you, and I really want you to understand there's so many people in the world that then dealt, been dealt the same hand as you. You feel me? And, and at times, you always feel like it's, it's motherfuckers that could have never took that same path as you or been through that shit that you've been through and still be standing but it's a lot of motherfuckers that's been through that shit with you you feel me and we niggas just really need you to keep pushing forward how you push forward because it's such an inspiration for others they, they can finally see it and be like damn she living my truth you feel me like it makes other people more comfortable to be like she's still putting her foot forward still showing love like Damn, maybe I shouldn't be so. Sometimes, sometimes a motherfucker need it, and it may not be your problem. It's not your problem at all. But sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm definitely a nigga who 
as much as I try to say I don't like, I don't need outside validation. I need validation for the motherfuckers who I feel like love me and I love. Like, so not even validation, but I need them to be like, I need them to vibrate high because it elevate me to a different level. Like, like when they like when I feel like, oh, this motherfucker believe in me, I got like this little competitive spirit in me that's like, I can't let this motherfucker down. Like I gotta push hella hard. I gotta go crazy. I gotta go crazy for them. Yeah, that's when but that's when that burnout come in. Cause like I've been doing this shit day in, day in, day out, day in, day out. Nigga, I wake up, go to sleep to this shit every single day. Like I don't stop. And there's been times where I done burnt myself out and I just be like, what next? Like exactly. people don't understand, you like and you know, and you show me so much, you done show me so much. She done, I feel she feel like she giving up. I can't give up because she doesn't show me so much love. She burnt out. Let me show her that I'm still like, even in your burnt out stage, I've seen what you did for me, so I agree. Like, I get it. I feel it. Like, even in your burnt out stage, I'm going to still act like you still show me that same love. But you done put it in my head so much. You done push me so hard. Like, all right, boom. I got to tap in. I got to really operate still like it's the same thing. Because even though she burnt out, I know why she burnt out. Mm-hmm. That comes from me understanding who you are and understanding the, the shit that the shit that you done put forward towards me, like, all right, I need, like, I need her. If I know I need you, I got to tighten the fuck up. Even if you like, damn, nigga, it's over. Like, I done did this for two, three, four, five, six years. I done been rocking with you for 10 years. This one little year that you like, man, I'm done. It's been times I had to, man, because at the end of the day, it was like I had to choose because it broke my heart that I had to choose a motherfucker I wanted to see be there by my side to the end. Or choose myself. Like, I seen myself self-destructing. Like, I couldn't fix it. I couldn't solve it. I couldn't figure it out. Like, it was just to that point. Like, people don't understand. People out here, that's why I tell people, go get help. Go talk to somebody. Please let somebody know. Like, if you don't solve these problems and these traumas, you are potentially killing the love of your life and you don't even fucking know it. Look, people not supposed to understand either. It's not. It's supposed to understand. Listen. Sometimes, like, this is where we get it fucked up as humans. We feel like just because we somebody blessing in their life, they supposed to be our blessing in their life. It don't work like that all the time. It don't you work. Don't. Just be the blessing in their life, and they might not give you shit, but experience. They might give not give you. Shit, they give you a lesson, and you go about your business. Everybody in your life is two things: either a blessing or a lesson. This is always never no in between. It's no gray areas. We, this shit is so simple that we make it complicated. This shit is so simple we make it complicated. It's either you're a blessing or you're a lesson to me. That's it. Listen, mm. We talked about this the other day, and like I told bro, I really don't be liking yeah, talking about this too much to too many people. Because it's because because it, in a certain sense, it kind of touched hand in hand in religion. Because I'm a Muslim, right? So when I read the Quran, they tell me we're not put on this earth for no other reason other than the spread blessings and spread love so therefore it don't matter how much done wrong in this life the no matter what i feel like i idols still touch everyone and still spread love to everyone you feel me even the motherfucker that didn't do me wrong it's still love here you feel me? I, don't, I don't hold that animosity in my heart that it's like fuck the world fuck these people i'm here for love that's it you feel me i'm here for love all right, let's get to this next question, man. Okay, so next question is, what inspired or put you on to streaming, and how long do you see yourself doing it? This is for the streamers, the streamers, the streamers. Start off with Rosie. Uh, yeah, let me mute myself, my G. Last week you said I wasn't a streamer, Sal. I'm not. I what? never said that. Don't you put that on my name. You just come Damn. in here bashing and slander. I never said that. I never said that. Don't, don't you, don't, not, don't lie on me. <laughs> don't you lie on me. I'm out here for the out here. I'm trying to make what a check. What put you on the streaming though? Um, my friends, because I like to RP, and then they brought me to GTA, and then they told me I was funny and I should do this. What was, and your, first, what was your first server? Finesse. It's owned by some white man from the UK, but that was home. What was this? Last year, like last May or something. Okay. And then your friends, the one that put you up on this. Yeah. What about you, Seti? So try to get up or put up on streaming. I just like, like the numbers at first. I always wanted to get mad. Uh, them numbers, I always stream. 
I'm At saying, was you to... watching streaming before you started streaming? Nah, I, I, I just started watching people. So hey. how did you get put on to it in the first place? Uh, uh, I think, I don't know. I just started it. I just, I started on YouTube. I found out, I started Twitch like two years ago. Mm-hmm. I, I, I started uh, first making videos on YouTube and then I went to live on YouTube. And eventually, I went Twitch. over to Twitch. Okay. Who else in here? What's up? How did you get put on the stream? Um, I was playing video games while I was hustling and shit, and people was like, I just played the game so much. Um, I started on Mixer, and then people was like, why don't you just build a PC? And then shit, I finally had hustled up some money and started building my own PC and went from there. Okay. What about you, Reezy? Um, I've been a gamer for years, but on PlayStation, and my homeboy, he started streaming from uh, his playing Call of Duty, and he was like, you should play because, you know, they like to see girls play, like, you know, they like to see girls shooting shit. Mm -hmm. So I started, and then I used to watch T, his streams when I was at work, and then I was like, I'm gonna fucking get into Grizzly World. And I'm here. You made it happen. Yeah. So, my story is, I never knew what the fuck a Twitch was. Like, to this year, like on some 100 shit. I went out to LA. I was fucking around with T. We was chilling. Went to his house. Now, I really didn't even know he was on Twitch or streaming video games or none of that shit. I just remember, like, him telling me before I got out there, this is what he was going. So, I was watching it. Then I started watching it once he told me. So, when I went out to his house and shit. We got on the stream. He, I'm watching him play. I'm like, this shit look kind of lit. Like, this is something. He's like, listen, bro. This is what the fuck you need to do. Like, you can you can, you can, can really do something with this, nigga. You funny as hell, bro. They going to fuck with you. You hear me? You so. I reckon you going to be his ass. And now, look, he got the he best community. I, I think that it was Tyrone. It was Tyrone. Tyrone. You said, when I yeah. do, I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. Like, I was on. I if y'all go that. back to before I even started stri- streaming, I was on T-Stream. You said, when, when I, I get on house. that motherfucker, I'm going to beat your ass. Uh-huh. I remember that's what I told Tyrone. So when I told, I talked to TT, like, nigga, you should, I'm like, all right, bet. As soon as I get home, I'm going to do it. So I end up flying home. I get home. I went home a day. Feds pulled up on me. Snatched me up. This, I already had the PC and, and, and the monitor and shit by then. So I set this shit up before I even had a chance. Feds come snatch me up. Boom. I go in that bitch for a couple of weeks. End up getting bond. They put me on house arrest. I'm like, damn, I really can do it now because I can't even go no motherfucking where. You hear me? This is what I can do for real, bro. So that was like the end of February, bro. About that beginning of March, I started streaming. You hear me? And the rest been history. So basically, T the one that put me really put me up on this shit. Like I never, like I never played video games and none of that. Like I had a PS5, but I used to play 2K. Like y'all ain't even never seen me play 2K. But that's what I was playing. You feel what I'm saying? Like I really didn't know nothing about Twitch and none of that shit. He told me how to set this shit up. A lot of this shit I learned on my own and with the help of like my mods, like Jazz and Trey, everybody that was with me from the beginning. Everything else is history after that, for real. You started bro. streaming in February, by the way. I ain't gonna lie to you. The end of February? Yeah. Yeah. Because I got out in the middle of February. I got a bond in yeah, the you middle of February. streaming in the end of February. Yeah, Sam, Sam, mm-hmm. you was struggling with everything. Man, I used to call Seti so much. I swear to God. I to, hey, Seti, I need to, um, these overlays. Nah, I remember that. I remember that shit. They fucking me up, bro. How do I put these shit. overlays together, bro? Like, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, I ain't even, I ain't even. Y'all go to my Twitch. My, my Twitch yet. ain't even hooked up. Like, a lot of people shit be sweet as hell. I be going on that shit. Like, how the fuck you get all Word. these social media links and shit, bro? My shit plain as hell. <laughs> Wait, I don't count yet though, right? Cause I ain't start streaming. Yet. Yeah, no, you can't know. count. But um, I'm still trying to get like I need. Hey, city, I need help with that though, for real. Like, how can I get my twist to look better, bro? My shit look plain than a motherfucker, bro. What you mean? Yes, shit. It- not really. It's you talking about with overlays bro. and shit? Yeah, I want my shit. Oh, to be you talking That's about? Nah, I see. You, you don't have panels. The panels. Like a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have none of that shit. I don't know how to work that shit either. I can, I can, help, I can help you do that. Okay, That's bad. easy. Because um, GTA sent me a Grizzly World RPYT. He sent me a link to some shit I can pay for. I'm a, I pay for that shit. I just don't know how to put that shit on there. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. I made while I started streaming, bro. T was right though. I, I gotta give it to my nigga. He was right, bro. Like a well, month, let me t- a month let me later, I became a partner, bro. A the same thing T did for him, 
That nigga just told me to do, and it's only I only I just got my PC what two weeks ago. No cap. Yeah, two weeks Same ago. Shit. Even though my nephew told me like, "Yo, Twitch, woo, woo," I said, "Man, that's some goofy shit, nigga. I don't, nigga, take your ass outside." That nigga sell like, "Nah, bro, grab that PC." Oh, that nigga. We had this podcast nigga. conversation. Even though I started setting my stream up, sitting back looking at all the shit he had to do, like we was in. In, in group chats on Discord, like he like, yo, what y'all think about this? Like, look at this shit. Like, woo, woo, woo. like figuring it out together. He like, yo, Trey, go get that fucking PC. Like, woo, woo, woo. like I've been playing the game with him, but I ain't click stream yet. And I RP funny too, by the way. Y'all got us fucked yeah, up. We no, probably man. top. We probably top. W, yeah. w fucking RP, nigga. But he 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 really like I ain't I ain't tap in on and press start on my stream yet. But when I do, it's on. Like it's on the flow. Love. All right, now listen. What the fuck? Take a shot. Man, I just took I one. Well, I'm out. You just took one. I did. Dennis? Yeah. You like a real Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? She got a big ass cancer hey, steel. Real shit. alcoholic. Indeed. I fuck with Dennis. Okay, listen, let me ask you this question. And it's going to be vice versa for ladies. Men, if your woman. Has a male best friend? No. Nope. Would you have a problem with it? We already kids. did this question already. I, I need another. I need another answer because I Do feel like we was all over the place, bro. Like I oh, need dude. to really. I really need no to... new friends. That bitch had to already be there. If she was already, she there, said she no new, with it. no new friends. If she was already there, and y'all ain't never fucked before. I ain't got no choice well, but to be straight with it. Fuck? Listen, listen, you supposed to just have faith and trust, bitch. You just have faith. Faith. Shit. I don't even trust the best Ain't, ain't too much of that going around man. here. Ain't too much trust. faith and trust going around here. Fuck that. I, I don't even trust the ATM. I still count my money after I get it out. That's so if I can't trust that, yeah, me too. I gotta count it. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Look, my, my brother been here since day one and been rolling to the wheels, fellow. I don't know about y'all, but my brother is my brother. Like, that's that's. That's game. I don't, I don't even trust the Ark at the corner store, bro. None of that. I don't get no fuck, bro. bro. Hey, listen. Have you ever catfished or been? Well, I hope ain't none of y'all catfish hey, nobody. Have you ever been catfish before? Yes. I'm so ugly as hell. <laughs> yes. We got a. I got hey, a. I got a catfish as a mind. I ain't gonna say her name, but go ahead. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> why would you say that? Wilding. Y'all been catfish before? Hell yeah. Half fish. Yeah. Y'all yeah. ain't never catch I was age fished. I was yo, age Jazzy fished. told about some what people LMFA, yo, I'm crying. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Hey, I, let me get a shot. I was you. messaging this one girl, right? And I used Trey <laughs> Pitcher to start it off. What you do that? What are you talking about? What are you talking I don't about? know why I did that because she never responded after that. I'm, what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> That's crazy. We had the same experience. Like I had to switch my shit. And say no, this yeah. really me right here. Like <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I, know I, <laughs> I had to switch it. I was trying to use you. So and shit. Uh, listen, like, nah. y'all done been for those that been. I ain't never. Yeah, I have. I ain't. Oh my god, I can't even really. Say I ain't gonna say I've been catfished before, I have, but I didn't have. I didn't. I ain't gotta gonna explain. Say, I don't think I was purposely Fuck catfished. No. I think she like I was catfished because she just looked better on the gram, and I seen it in person. I'm like, but y'all they be doing shit they on the fucking social. Man, let's shut the. Listen, bro. These females the be doing shit on these social media platforms, bro, to be making themselves look so cold. But then when they walk up, what God. Like, What's the house? difference between y'all wearing fitted hats and us making ourselves? I'll take my shit off right now. Listen, let me tell you this. What's the difference? Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If a nigga wearing and I had a cut in the sky, that's fine. I'm talking about. Take it off, Trey. Take it off, Trey. Take it off, bro. I ain't had no cut in the month and a half, bro. Well, take that shit off, bro. Take that shit off. All right, we got What's that? It gotta be the snap. That's not a do rag. Hold on, no do rag. This is here. He got Damn, he mixed with Puerto Rican. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah, that's stupid. Puerto Rican beacon. I thought your shit was a do rag, gang. Okay, now <laughs> it was a do rag. No do rag. Gotta bag your head up, son, bro. We see them little ripples. We see them little now, ripples. Now, now, now turn around. That nigga name is Trey Avarez. The back of your head. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Show us your forehead. Show us you your hairline. the headphones, bro. We need to see your whole neck. Show us your hairline, nigga. 
Okay, move your neck out the way. 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 Move your neck my widow's peak crazy, but if I get a cut, niggas know how this shit spins. Stop. Yeah, my widow peak crazy too. Look at my Stop shit. Stop it. I ain't but had a I'm cut in a month. I ain't they had a cut in a month. You, you dark as hell over there. Y'all ain't paid a light bill? Fuck nah. What's going on over there, bro? Tell me the whole thing after a month. Like it for, some re- huh? for some reason, the light's always off in New York, ain't they? Why I'm missing nine k Let me see your whole face, bro. Bro, I'm sick you be coming with this horny ass mustache. <laughs> 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 you, know what, I do <laughs> you know that you, you know, know what? Next podcast, I'm gonna have a fucking cut. I'm on y'all head too. So right, niggas got me right, we gonna get it popping. <laughs> okay, listen. That that I, 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 you win a hundred million dollars, but you gotta go have yeah, the last person you spoke to in game. Who Them you going with good. and what y'all cashing out on? What? Me and Penny no, gotta go have. That's the last person I spoke to in game. It was getting a half off. I wouldn't mind getting it. It was Penny because you flew out right before him, too. I wouldn't I mind getting that down with Penny because I, I just robbed that nigga out. You ain't shit. They're talking about the last nigga you spoke to in game. Give it to him at the point. That bitch talking about mashed potatoes. Oh, shit. That dude say get into my nigga. Questions, gang. That's it. Yeah, okay. Okay, has love made you do something outside your morals or <laughs> we already know Lil <laughs> Dizzy about to go hard on that <laughs> Has love made you I'm do a, something I'm outside your morals? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on, I unmuted. rolled for a nigga to the bloody end. This whole ass nigga wasn't even real with I was outside the car. I was shooting hold at on, that bitch. Pop, pop, pop. Oh. They told me to be the driver. Hey, that's that's my past yeah. life now. I'm cooling now. <laughs> Shit. Unmute me. You want me I to got run? you. Hey, I learned my lesson in life. I'm chilling now. Let that nigga look. That nigga want to be free. Be, be free, little Jeffrey, little whatever you is. I'm going to let you blow in the wind. <laughs> I ain't chasing you, bro. <laughs> Throw your ass back in the lead. <laughs> Throw your ass back. Throw your ass back. Like, I ain't even worried about what a nigga from the money. I done gave this nigga my last. My last. I ain't going to like that, bro. That cake look nasty as fuck, gang. I ain't gonna. You just talking to Jose. You better get the fuck off that freaky ass mustache. That cake look good as dog shit. I don't like that. That nigga called me Jose. Not Jose. What's the next one? Oh, dang. Jose. Tell somebody cut me a slice. I'm hungry over. Would you live with that wild animal? I'll be asking some wild questions. Would you live with a wild animal or or be handcuffed to your enemy for a year? Wild, wild animal, wild animal. animal. On my mama, I'll be friend. On my mama, I'll be friend a wild animal before I'd be cuffed to my op. I'll fuck around and kill my op. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I dragged that. I'm out there. Beat that motherfucker unconscious. (laughs) What type of wild animal? Your oh, aunt might, your aunt might be your best like friend. Like a sale or something. That type of man, look, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you, the moment you decide to be my op is the moment you decide to be my op is on you gonna get your ass beat. I don't, yeah, don't give a fuck. Got Nigga said a sale or some shit like that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't have no ops that was that was uh naturally like that was uh I got ops that was naturally my op. I ain't got no ops. Did nothing to me, like I, I don't got no. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like I ain't got no nigga. I ain't got time for that shit, bro. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers get mad at me because I don't want to follow the parade and be up their ass sometimes. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Like, I got my own shit going on. Like, motherfuckers want you to be flunkies and shit. I'm not no flunky, bro. Now, if I want to be a fan sometimes, I'll be a fan of you. But sometimes motherfuckers be taking that shit to the head. And I'll be like, bro, you need to chill the fuck out because I will lean your shit. Like, tell that to the niggas in the back. Trying to lean somebody. I'm sick. Because that's. Because that's the only that's the only language they don't understand. Like that shit talking shit ain't even no point no more. I'll be just telling motherfuckers what you want to do with these hands at this point. Like what we doing? You if we not throwing hands, shit, I bet you I slap the fuck out you. Yeah, you don't get your <laughs> shit beat the yeah, fuck yeah. in. Oh yeah, I like that. Larry's got a little cake on the top. All right. of that. I'm <laughs> telling you right now, go get your cake. shit. Your Put shit gonna be smacked. Oh, yeah, Put them yeah, yeah, hands on me. I like that. Yeah, shit. Hey, Sal, so hey, look, I like that hey, Sal, you look at look at private chat. So yeah, stop playing with me. Okay, I don't want to click it on while I'm right. this. Oh no, Damn, no, 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 Larry, turn your no. camera back on. Nah, it ain't nothing crazy. Hold on, let me check my face you right that, Look at that little cake on the side of his lip. Oh, you got it. 
I don't know why that question was really stupid. Oh, he had to send a video of his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, them questions. Niggas ain't really ask questions this this question. You find out it's a zodiac sign you don't like. You still dating them? Yeah, nobody. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Oh, weak ass question, bro. Thoughts on dealing with the, what's your thoughts on dealing with the dancer? Would y'all ever fuck with a stripper? Hell yeah. Yeah. Why not? I know Jose gonna fuck with I what about Seti, what you say? Nah. Why not? I ain't no lie. I ain't no lying like I can't hit like I can't hit. Bruh, we just had this you conversation. You gotta be secure when I, as fuck. When I'm in oh, love, I'm in love. Like it ain't even about me being insecure. You gotta be secure, bro. I just can't. Like, I'm like, my niggas gotta be secure. It ain't for it, the game. Ain't for everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's what it should be. I don't even think about it. My bad. It's it's yeah, it's, it's not even no. It's not that secure. I'm right. just telling you, that it's just it ain't everybody cup of tea. I'm such a real nigga. I don't care, bro. I will be counting them ones with you at the end of the night while I'm rubbing. Bro, I be coming home. I be coming home. That motherfucker bag full as fuck. We breaking this bitch down. You take. To the bank in the morning, like one of my one of my closest friends, like that, like he he like he's, he gonna do that, like. But me, I ain't gonna lie. I, like, I ain't gonna listen. This is my thing, though. Bro, if it's like if it's an end goal with it, if it's an end goal with it, okay, yeah, let's build through this shit. If this something that we good and you just doing this shit for recreation, you ah uh, nah 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 nah, nah nah nigga, we out here trying to build a Fortune 500 like, company. Like, I'm trying to make sure my grandkids is like, good. Like if we, we on that type of time. Up and you you doing this shit and but you ain't stacking that shit the way you supposed to stack it and we blowing this shit just to blow it and we counting ones. You just spinning that shit and you got to go back next week or the yeah. next day to get that shit right. But nah, we ain't doing that. But if it's an end goal in it and we started here because nigga. Niggas have started for the gotta flip this. You gotta you gotta flip that shit, bro. Cause people don't understand. Like it's really hard out here because a lot of people don't understand. Like the information that we need to get like free money from the government and all that shit. Don't nobody truly know about. We wasn't taught that shit in uh school. We weren't taught that shit in high school. Our parents couldn't teach us how to get loans and and credit business credit. So when what how how else do black people know how to hustle, nigga? Is hustling or selling drugs? You feel me? And I be like, y'all don't have no issues. Y'all have issues with y'all don't have issues with drug dealers, but y'all have issues with dancers, my nigga. Like we the women drug dealers, like we gotta do what the fuck we gotta do. You feel me? Like at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now some bitches take it too far. The same way niggas take it too far. Like you just gotta figure out the one you gonna fuck with and you gonna ride with. Cause I'm telling you, these bitches are do you the same way they do their customers, and there's some bitches out here that will that break bread with you all the way. That's a fact, and you get caught up in you that. Never know how I be trying to tell you because. A stripper make you feel like she love you. As soon as that stack of ones going, it's a wrap. She like, gonna walk the fuck like, up if, to the nigga with the next stack like, of ones. That, that's what I'm saying. They could take that life outside. Because I know females who took I'm that life outside hurt. the strip club, bro. I know females who took that life outside the strip club. And that nigga got the bag right now, so she fucking with him heavy. As soon as that shit drop, it's like, all right, we over. So if you ain't doing this shit with a motherfucking end goal, like if it, me personally, I'm not going to front like, like right now. I feel like it's too many outlets and we got too much information right now for me to be like, all right, cool. Like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, and I done seen it and I know good motherfuckers who really strip and probably more intellectual than motherfuckers who sit in the position to hand out jobs and shit. But that's what they do. I just feel like, man, you hold yourself back because you got that shit. But you, you know this shit just easy. Let's not act like this shit just not convenient. You just know that nigga. It's convenient. It's it's convenient, but you gotta understand at the same time it depends on the field because people don't understand like dancing has changed over the years. Like from back in the day when it was like when Fifty Cent and all them was out and shit like that. Like the OGs are telling me like the money ain't the same. And even with me dancing for the last three four years, the money is not the same and the hustle is not the same because now you got extra shit going on. Now you got a saturation. Now you got a watered market. Like this shit is really a motherfucking business. Like you have to brand yourself, market yourself to where niggas want to spend money on you. There's been bitches in the club that got $30,000 worth of body done and don't get a dollar. It's bitches in there that had eight titties done seven, six, seven times and don't get a motherfucking dollar. It's all about, it's, anyway. it's, 
it's all about your hustle and how you present yourself. Like if you make a clientele of motherfuckers that want to see you, love you, and adore you, that's your hustle. But bitches don't hustle like me. I'm an entertainer. I'm not fucking for no money. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. I will literally not come to your section so you don't think I'm trying to fuck. I will go work the flow in the stage. Like I'm a stage where I will put on a motherfucking show. You have fun. You and your girl will have fun. And then you'll come back. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nah, we talked about this last time. Whoa, that. whoa, hold on, little Benzie, you a dancer? I ain't know that. I don't about the the that's all you know, niggas don't listen. Yeah, thank you, Rosie. I'm so sick. Thank you, Rosie. Only reason I caught it because you said I worked the motherfucking floor. I'm a floor. Like that's all. She said she's a stage girl. A stage girl. Like that's all. Footage at. Let me see this footage. Let me see this footage. You go on IG. I don't want to see no footage because little Benzie like. Like big, big bro. Shit. I ain't gonna hey, I'm big bro, but I get big pay. <laughs> hey, bro. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Let hey. them know. Hey, big bro. Hey. Like, oh, no, nah, OF, OF oh, did change the game, but it got really bad. Like, I just quit OF a couple months ago because it got too bad. Like, the money was good, but the niggas was too thirsty on OF. Like, it was too much access to me. Like, niggas didn't understand. Like, you need to be paying me to talk to me. Niggas got too comfortable. Like, this is my job. Like, you want me to come out of my day to make you feel good, make you feel like that nigga, give you attention, make your day go by fast, ask you how your day going. Nigga, that is my job because I'm not your bitch. Understand? Yeah, you gotta pay, nigga. So, niggas didn't want to pay. I told niggas, I'm going on strike. I quit. Niggas been niggas been on my bumper ever since because I told they ass y'all not finna drive me crazy and not pay me. You not my man. I don't have to cater to you. You no longer want to pay me. At the end of the day, bag. you gotta get that bag and all. And hey, all look, money. man, I'm out here. I'm out here flipping my shit, bro, because I know when I'm doing my shit, man. I'm not out here just blowing that no shit. Like I'm out here really. I'm really out here building. I didn't use my money to get a better body, a better mind, a better place. And like all that shit. Like I'm in a better position because I invested in myself. Because in the hood, oh, you can't get no trainer. In the hood, you can't get no the freshest fruit and vegetables. Niggas, we always eat Fuck noodles bro. and hot Cheetos and shit. Niggas, in the hood, we making honey buns feel like motherfucking heaven and shit. Like y'all don't know what it is to be in the motherfucking mud, bro. Like yeah, you don't understand. Like when you gotta make shit. you gotta make twenty dollars stretch a week, bro. You don't know what that Ooh. shit feel like. So until you done been in the mud and know what it feels like, niggas don't know what that hustle is. Like, yeah, I might show my motherfucking body, but understand my loyalty is forever. And if a nigga step any way towards you, I'll beat that nigga and his bitch up. I don't play oh, about wait, you. Wait, hold on. Like, it's, a, it's a loyalty thing. Man, like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Nobody want to get beat up today, please. Nah, bro, because it's it's a loyalty thing. Like, people out here, like, there's people out here stepping. Like, uh, freaky ass nigga, bro. Freaky ass nigga. I'm going to call my big freaky. brother. Hey, little bit. Freaky. Freaky. <laughs> 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 But yeah, like I, I said, see why, like I said, I can I'm see why you and I can't, me personally, I can't handle that. And now she like, she like my little sister, her. man. She Katana's like my little sister. I love that girl to death. Sometimes she can be hard headed, and sometimes she do her own thing. But she living her own life right now. I let her be an adult. She know when to reach out to me. She know when to call me. She know if she got an issue, she can call me anytime, and I'm gonna be there for her. Bye. But understand, she she grown too. I let her do her. I'm your friend at the end of the day. I'm gonna tell you where you wrong and we we I love her. Like I tell people we family, bro. I don't play that shit. Like it's too many grimy people out here for y'all to still be playing these games. Like, why do y'all wanna be around dirty people? Like the fuck? So I assume you wanna be dirty, like not dirty people. Dirty, Ooh. dirty energy, dirty presence, dirty everything. Like it's just dirty. Like, why would you wanna be around? Like talk to him. Fuck that. Hey, right, people, look, man, I'm out, at the end of the day, I want to be able to have an environment where I can raise kids around people that I enjoy, that I have grown to learn, and my kids can be safe around them. There's so many things out here in the world that is trying to attack you, your family, and your community. Why are we not, like, getting with our own type of people, our own people that understand us and building off of that? No people, doubt. it's like letting their life waste away on meaningless shit. Like I don't I don't argue about shit certain shit no more. I no longer crave that. It it gives me no substance in life. You feel what I'm saying? Like I can agree, I can disagree, I can have conversations, but at the end of the day, it's not my end goal. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Well that's what's up. I can't handle this. Okay. To all time, they wasn't here. I couldn't have wrapped it up no better. Every time she come on this bitch and speak, bro, she speak that That's real shit. That's why we need. That's why niggas be needing. So Lindsay, a whole W, bro. Her so name's still Man Beater in this chat. I ain't gonna lie. Man <laughs>
Look, sometimes it's, it's, I'll be talking that talk, but sometimes I get myself folded too. I, I don't mind getting folded up a couple times. Like, I know my strength. I can't, I can't win. I can't win every fight now. I ain't doing no folding. Let's Re- 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 I, I can't, I can't. Hey, son. All right, listen. Okay, listen. Yeah, we talked about that last week, though, but. W podcast. Got- W's in the chat if y'all fucking with the podcast. You talking about <laughs> hashtag beat niggas. <laughs> you need to beat me. Whoa, Hit me one. Oh my God. Punch me in the mouth. Yeah. Freaky ass dude. Punch Not me the in the mouth. mouth. Not the mouth. Not the mouth. I'm going to need that. Oh, but yeah. Dog oh, out there. Listen, I appreciate hey. everybody that tapped in with us. Happy birthday to my nigga DJ Lurch. Happy yes, birthday. sir. Everybody my that came through and supported, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I see y'all the next five still, channel man. podcast. Lurch. Yes, sir. Let me it hear it one more time, bro. Every podcast. Oh, <laughs> it's the five. Yeah, it is. This is certified for the classic.